Welcome to Backpacker Radio presented by The Trek. I am your co-host, Zach Badger Davis. And sitting to my physical right today is... Hi, I'm Juliana Chauncey, a.k.a. Chance. And our sit-in co-host is... Joseph Blue Pulaski. <laughs> <laughs> the brand new that. recipient <laughs> of a plastic hip. <laughs> uh, I love jokes that are recycled. I think you used that in a previous episode. Fuck right? you. No, I love it. Sounds new to me. <laughs> yep. Uh, question of the day. This one is courtesy of Chance. Uh, Chance, I'll let you read it since it's your question. Yes. Um, I think it's you know quite thought-provoking. Um, if your belly button was a real button, what would you want it to do? Yeah. Uh, nukes. Oh. <laughs> something, the nukes. Something like, like <laughs> atomic warfare. The only button that ever mattered. Yeah. His girlfriend accidentally touches his stomach. She's like, you have no idea what you Don't done. touch that! <laughs> It's too late. Can, it's I not hope because you didn't like Zimbabwe. It's not because I don't like my belly button. It'll kill everybody. You don't understand what this thing can do. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so mine's in a similar vein. Mine would be uh, <laughs> like DoorDash. <laughs> like I just want food delivered. I would just push my belly button. Is it like a um, Garmin or where you can like preset three orders on it so, so that if you push it twice, I thought through you get everything. Something. Is that it will be linked with my Neuralink? So I would just think of the food that I want. It would have the GPS chip in it, which I have the uh, Bill Gates chip, so they already know where I am. And then I just push the belly button, and the thing that I'm thinking would get delivered to where I am because I have the Bill Gates chip, and then I push the belly button. And the other thing I like about this, (laughs) hold on, I'm not done, (laughs) is that uh, because my belly is soft, I would feel a little bit self-conscious about the thing that I ordered because when I touch my soft belly, I'm like, ooh, do you really need that ranch dip with what you're doing? Is there an issue right now? I can't hear you very well. Sorry. I can't really hear either. Yeah. I think yeah, I think the issue is probably the headphones. Oh, did suck. you give us the shitty pairs? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Honestly, I left the good pair at home. I've like literally dropped every ball in the making of this. So if you guys want to ditch the headphones, if it's more distracting than anything else, feel free to do it. I, I, I've I just, got audio. I just I'm, need to make sure that I'm not too loud, which happens often. I'll, don't worry. I'll give you the feedback. Oh, I bet. If you want to ditch the headphones, that's totally good. <laughs> We're not editing this out. This is how it rolls. We're 100 <laughs> episodes in, and we still have figured first this time. out. First time in a long time. So I would want my belly button to... Um, oh, Chance, what would you want your button to do? <laughs> well, I'm so glad that you asked. I would want it to put me instantly to sleep. Like, not in a coma Ooh, or anything, but, like, however long I would sleep if I fell asleep naturally. So if it's 3 p.m. and I push it, like, maybe I'll nap for an hour or two. But if it's, like, 10 p.m. and I push it, I'll wake up in the morning. Mm. Um... That's and good. again, like not like such a heavy sleep that like I can't get like woken up. It's just the normal sleep, but I don't have to wait to fall asleep. Shit, I'd like, like to amend answer. mine. <laughs> <laughs> that's good, right? I'll take one of Johnson's, please. Imagine <laughs> laying down in your tent at night and just pushing your belly button and like Damn sweet it. dreams happen. No, I've got one. I got one. I got one that's not the nukes. <laughs> it's way better. <laughs> it's the but. It, it's a button. Push once to not shit. <laughs> to not feel like you have to shit. <laughs> This is specific to you, by the way. At Big all day. times, he's not pushing it. He is shitting. One time to make yourself not feel like you have to shit violently, press two to shit violently. <laughs> Here's a question. When are you pushing it twice? In what circumstances are you pushing it? Are you double-clicking the mouse? I mean, before we hike every morning. Quick evacuation, immediate, violent. All right, follow-up question. <laughs> Would you ever actually need to push that button? I mean, need or just desire? Well, because I feel like that happens in its natural state. It does. <laughs> but, like, everybody should get to experience oh, okay. that is what I'm trying to so say. It's not... so you, I'm selling these. I'm selling them like hotcakes. You, you want to buy my belly button? <laughs> Money. That yeah, leads people. us to our first it's giveaway. Rich quick schemes. <laughs> oh my god! All right. Well, as you might have guessed, we're uh, back to recording in person. I don't know why. I, I guess largely because it's the hundredth episode. So COVID, be damned. Uh, I think you got lonely. Damned. You I, I, got lonely. You started messaging more, and you're like, "We should really get back to in person, guys." And I'm like, "I see what's happening here." I, I did. I missed you guys very well, much. Well, uh, you're almost fully vaccinated. I'm I, partially. Almost. You're, oh you're very partial. Very early. Very yeah. early in the partial process. Yeah. I think I've got about 50% of the uh, Bill Gates immunity at this point. So of the, of the chip. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm feeling pretty good rolling the dice here. But yeah, that was part of it. I also, also have a recent negative test. I've never tested positive. So... That's all good with me. That's feels it, pretty solid. It would have been kind of upsetting had the uh, answer there been different. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. What's the other answer? You were you had like I had a recent positive test <laughs> <laughs> oh, two days yeah, ago. No, actually, no, I didn't. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay. Back on track. <laughs> and Charles doesn't believe in science. Okay. So. <laughs> <laughs> 
So. <laughs> like, can we go back to that? We're just going to let the people think that you're an anti-vaxxer. We're just going to go with that. I, this is false. <laughs> okay. So, and news to me. <laughs> so to celebrate our 100th episode here, very exciting. Let's give ourselves a pat in the back. Uh, well, honestly, I'm shocked. Yeah, no, I didn't think really we Really surprised. Oh, my God. I, I'm, like, texting in the middle of this, and we're off camera. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck! Yeah. Uh, Wait, shocked by what? Like, just like that, Texas shocked? Just, just kind of shocked that we made it to 100 episodes, that that many people existed to bring on the podcast, um, mostly in Denver. That kind, of, kind of they don't, because we've had him on, like, 14 of those episodes. Not 14. 12. <laughs> it's close. <laughs> you might be right. <laughs> Hopefully 14 more. Yeah. Uh, the but next 14. Obviously, it was only fitting to have Jabba on for the our triple digit episode yeah, or something. I'm only around for a few more weeks, so it's it makes true. sense. That's true. That's true. Uh, but let's just let's just get to some of the show. <laughs> things are <laughs> things are really snailing along here. Uh, so to we celib- love snails. We love snails so bad. God, that's Cargit. <laughs> <laughs> So you pronounce that right? Yeah. <laughs> As a celebration of our triple digit entry, we are giving away a butt ton of shit, which is a actual. Metri- that's a that's a term. Yeah, it's a real. That's a mathematical term. That's a, an actual measurement. Yep. Butt ton. Uh, so I'm going to read through this, and it's going to get painful. But you guys need to know what you're winning. So just bear with me here. Uh, prize package number one includes a Gossamer Gear The One Shelter. You two Ooh. guys have used that. I'm about to use it again. Love it. It's a it's a fucking bomb tent. A uh, hundred dollar gift card at Backcountry.com. Two pairs of Gooder Shades. I should preface this by saying uh, I reached out primarily to our main sponsors. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit of foreshadowing. Gooder's going to be an upcoming sponsor of the show. A five-meal sampler from Greenbelly. A signed copy of Appalachian Trials or Pacific Crest Trials. And Hiking from Home. You were going to add to Is that a book that somebody wrote? Hiking Trail for Family and Friends. What did you want me to put there? The subtitle, yeah. (laughs) Okay, cool. (laughs) Uh, A Trek hat of your choice. And best of all, a backpacker radio sticker. Ooh, that sticker. Get me in. Yeah. Which one? Anyone? Are we there only, multiples we only have still? One. We have one sticker. <laughs> there used to be multiples. <laughs> oh, we have multiple Trek stickers. Oh, right, right, yeah. right. Different uh, company, apparently. Yep. Uh, so I, instead of reading the whole prize package again, what I'm going to say is it's all the same except for the Gossamer Gear prize. Instead of the one shelter, the prize package two is a Gorilla Pack, which is what I use Great pack. for mm-hmm. the duration of the PCT. It is a phenomenal pack. And then prize package three is Gossamer Gear LT5 poles. I believe you. Oh, used those. I want those. I uh, definitely use them. Great, great poles. A hundred dollar gift card at backcountry.com. Two pairs of Gooder shades. A signed copy of Appalachian Trials or Pacific Crest Trials and hiking from home. A long distance hiking book for family and friends. What is it called? <laughs> a sure? long distance hiking guide for family and friends. Yeah, guidebook. Uh, <laughs> a trek hat and a backpacker radio sticker. So. Uh, you want to know how can you win? How do you win one of these amazing prize packages? Well, I'm glad that you asked. So there's going to be a few different entry methods that are going to be sprinkled throughout the episode. So this is how we get you to listen. So I'm going to outline the first method to enter. If you hear it and you're like, that's the one I want to go with. I don't want to listen to any more of the show. I'm really only in this for hiking from home. A long distance hiking guide for family and friends. <laughs> Like then, ho- she's ho- being held hostage. I keep like, like I get caught off guard. Yeah. Chance Ch- Ch- hasn't slept today, so I'm trying to really hold her against the fire. Uh, okay, so entry method number one: if you've left a- left us a review on Apple Podcast, please screenshot that review and email it to podcast at the trek.co. And there's another little caveat here: if you haven't left a review but you do listen on Apple Podcasts, leave us a review. Any number of stars that you think we deserve will do. Uh, letting us know which episode was your favorite and why. Screenshot that review and email it to podcast at the trek.co. I should also note that the deadline to enter through any of these methods is going to be April 20th, 420. Ooh. Honestly, although you were so creative on this episode. Thank you. I appreciate it. All that. these little Thanks. things you put together while I was over here slacking. This is fantastic. You just smoke a little bit of DMT. <laughs> why just a little? I mean, I went full bore. Oh, thank you. I saw fractals. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. <laughs> okay. And with that, let's get to our interview with Jennifer Barr Davis and Brew Davis, her wife. <laughs> it's, I'm making fun of myself. Cause... He introduced them. Uh, they were sitting in a bathroom floor in a motel, like drinking wine, and he introduced it as Jennifer Farr Davis and her wife, Brew Davis. <laughs> <laughs> and they're just both sitting on the bathroom floor like, ah! 
the, the fuck of it is that was the only part that I had it actually written out for the interview. So I was just reading my own copy, and they both started laughing. I'm like, they were all am laughing, I, and Zach has no idea why. Like, <laughs> At the end, he's like, "Did I say something funny?" And we're like, "I mean, I blacked just... out. What happened?" <laughs> okay. That was a lovely interview with the Davis family. Thank you so much for all your inspiration. And uh, to you, our listener, thank you for listening. And your prize is entry method number two. Ooh. To enter into our beautiful prize package for celebration of 100 episodes. We need like a Bo Rat title for this. I was doing my best improv, but that was pretty bad. I'll let Tom work on that one. Who's that? (laughs) (laughs) Uh, So this is the second entry method right here. Make a post on your personal Instagram detailing your favorite poop story. That's a big ask. Listen. Ask. To all your family and friends, you have to tell them your poop story? If you're true hiker trash, you have no Chance, qualms, last time dude. I was on this podcast, we were talking to your mother about the pee on your face situation. And A, we saw how that went. Yeah. B. But you did it. This is a safe space it's kind poop. of because my poop. family and friend. well, my family listens, but like my friends don't listen. Yeah, but if poop is like we all poop, it's not like everybody pees on somebody else's face. Yeah, but like in what's, like so what's Instagram's a way we can modify, got what's a way we can no, I think this? we should do this. Okay. I just think that it's like <laughs> okay, sheesh. Okay, uh, <laughs> so best poop story. <laughs> I, so that's the beginning. Poop story, personal Instagram, <laughs> detailing your favorite poop story. If you're one of us, I feel like this is a pretty easy entry. I agree. Tag us in this post and email the link to podcast at the track.co. The obvious, hopefully obvious caveat here is that your profile must be public because we obviously want to read it and laugh along with you. Maybe even future segment as we read some of them. Yeah. Uh, okay. The Trek propaganda portion of today's show. This is the least fun, so I'm going to move through it quickly. Although I am pretty stoked on this first article right here. This is Our Favorite Backpacking Meals by Katie Comer. Uh, I've definitely highlighted her name quite a bit. Do you remember we met her at the San Diego meetup? You might not remember. I remember her perfectly. Okay, good. Perfectly? Do you remember that night perfectly? So perfectly. I think you should grill her. We're getting pretty (laughs) close. We're getting pretty close to announcing the next road trip. Uh, Well, actually, we've gotten farther today, haven't we? Yes. (laughs) You guys aren't stopping the podcast at 100 episodes? We probably should. Yeah. We probably should have stopped it like we 15. Made it. <laughs> Looks like we made it. We're going to go back in time. The lights just turn off. <laughs> uh, so our favorite backpacking meals by Katie Comer. Perhaps the greatest writing assignment of all time. We loaded Katie up with a, again, a metric butt ton of meals, a real actual metric, uh, from a slew of the biggest names and some up-and-comers in the dehydrated meal space. She, along with some of her dirtbag friends, plus a handful of Trek contributors, myself included, shared our favorite from the heaps of options available to backpackers. If you're looking to stock up your food bag for the year to come, I highly encourage you to check out this post. Show notes. Drink. Let's drink, guys. I will drink. Cheers. Cheers. Texas is going for it. No cheers. Dick. Uh, <clears throat> and kind of a segue from that is we're always accepting new writer applications at the track. We take them on I'd a like rolling basis. I'd like to submit basis. an application. Okay. <laughs> Denied. <laughs> uh, we take them on a rolling basis depending on the season, our budget, and a number of blown out diapers happening in my household at a given time. Same here. Uh, <laughs> if you've got a good deal of backpacking experience and want your thoughts featured on the trek, head to the link in the show notes. And to that point, I think I'm going to make this a shout out on an upcoming episode as well. Yep. Thank you, Johns. Uh, I'm also looking for a personal assistant <clears throat> slash marketing intern. I don't know. I'm still figuring out exactly where this piece will fall, but I need help. I need I'd help like in a lot of ways. I need to submit an application. I need so much help. Uh, so if, if anyone out there listening is masochistic enough to be my right-hand person, again, go to the link in the show notes. Um, I don't recommend this position, but... I would appreciate someone filling it. <laughs> That's <Gross>. so convincing. <laughs> someone get filled someone fill my position, position please. <laughs> I uh, don't recommend it. Would this be the episode you'd want me to execute? I feel like it'd be a lot more funny for me to do it with somebody less suspecting. Oh, no. I think it's, no, this it's is a celebration. Right. This okay. is right. Uh, I don't have a knife. Uh, I, we got keys. You son of a bitch. Please. I'm sweating right now. Zach's sweating right now. Very intense. 100 episodes is very intense. Have fun. Oh, Darth Vader? (laughs) Yeah, bro. (laughs) Lowe's, $2. (laughs) Uh, So this is not just pure alcoholism, although it is kind of that. It's not. It's like, uh, it's just abuse. I see Zach, like, 
opening a can of beer with a sharp object, and I'm not sure why. I, Zach, is this alcoholism? Yeah. No, that's uh, not alcoholism. Should we it's g- alcohol navelism. Should we Ooh, give the context one. for this? Of course you should. Yes. Okay. Would you like to give the context for this? Uh, yeah. You know what? While you go, I'll give context. Okay, I'm going to stand. I'll give context of the duration oh, of it. Oh, don't worry. I'll also give context. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so the context is Zach is currently shotgunning a beer. Wow, that was really fast. Um, He lost the Super Bowl. If uh, you remember that episode where we all picked teams, Um, teams for who would win the Super Bowl, (laughs) and his teams did not win. So he had to randomly shotgun a beer in the middle of an episode unannounced, and that was nice. Pop quiz, you have to answer this in two seconds or less. Who won the Super Bowl this year? Uh, Tom Brady's team. That was pretty good. Good she enough. You. Good enough. <laughs> you got to shotgun another beer now. Because <laughs> you lost that bet. <laughs> uh, okay. That is it for, I think, serious segments of <laughs> capped with a shotgun. <laughs> <laughs> So Actually, serious. I lied. I lied. This one's, this one's not. There's no totally. Are, are dumb. any of these segments serious? That last. I mean, it wasn't like somber, but it was okay. not Whatever stupid. That's fine. I hope it wasn't stupid. It was pretty <laughs> stupid. I was reading it, therefore it was stupid. Okay, this uh, next segment is a brand new segment. I think I actually can't even keep the chronology of when we release these things straight. But a newish or brand new or somewhat new segment titled "Random Piece of Backpacking Advice of the Day." <laughs> This is literally gear of the day with a costume. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Because we ran out of gear. I, I love it. Yeah. We stopped we stopped walking, so we need now advice. I have a whole book of it. Uh, okay. You guys should get back to writing. Yeah. So <laughs> I'm going to go with, you guys have time to think of it. I don't know if you actually prepped for it, but I didn't. this is a thing that I see happening often, especially because a lot of the influencers are obviously very experienced backpackers, and I think that their gear is suited toward their level of experience, and then people follow them and think that that's the gear that they should be using. I think that can be a failure in a lot of cases. I think your backpacking gear should be suited to your skill set and experience. For instance, if you've only pitched a tent a few times in your entire life, which is a couple times more than I had prior to setting out for the AT, drink. Okay. (laughs) Do not buy a complicated trekking pole tent or bivy just because some influencer is using that. When you first start backpacking, there will be enough challenges. You don't want your gear to be a source of stress. If you're fussing with a shelter you don't know how to set up, stressing about how you're going to stay warm in your quilt, cold soaking your dinner on a cold night, etc., you're going to have a bad time. Don't feel bad about using a freestanding tent, full mummy sleeping bag, a pillow, a jet boil stove, etc. I've actually kind of, my pendulum swung back in that direction. I now use a sleeping bag on a lot of my trips. I still use either like a Nemo or a Big Agnes tent on a lot of my trips. Uh, so you will you, whittle. You used a uh, Z-Packs on this PCT. Right? I did oh. PCT. That that was because we were doing it very quickly. Like and we wait, did, and we did. We did it very quickly. Right? Hundred days. Hundred days. Should we drink about that? I feel like okay. we talked okay. about. Okay. Oh, hundred days, hundredth episode. <laughs> Didn't even. How often do you set out on a hike to do it in an exact amount of time that and is pretty actually wild. finish in that Although, exact amount? I know we missed some miles. We did oh, miss some miles. That that wasn't the caveat that I was going to give. I was okay. going to give is is we did it because we set that goal. Like I think at the end we probably like I think if it was on our own accord we probably would have finished like more in like a, the 103, 105. Sure. We, like we were killing ourselves at the end. I enjoyed it. Except yeah. for when I didn't. Except for when you got <laughs> injured. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but no, I agree. That was yeah. that was pretty tight. It doesn't happen often. No. Uh, so yeah, that's my piece of advice. Start simple, and then you can always upgrade from there. You can always sell your gear if you get like an expensive Big Agnes tent. You're like, now I'm stuck with this thing. Although I think you'll probably end up loving a Big Agnes tent. You can always find ways to get the dream gear that you want in a more economical way. So don't stress about it. I should say, I should add another caveat. This is not quick advice anymore. <laughs> but don't go cheap with your gear, as, as, assuming that your budget allows you to do it. Don't get like a heavy piece of... Kelty tent or a heavy Kelty tent or, you know, some shitty backpack. These are mistakes that I made. I in the personally AT. know people that have used a Kelty two-person tent on the AT and swear by that tent. Okay, I have nothing. Lieutenant Cuckoo Bird <laughs> swears by his. I need to no, 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 meet no. him. He uses an MSR. He does now yeah. on the AT. Okay. He loved his okay. Kelty. I'm not shitting on Kelty. You're uh, shitting on him. Yeah, I used. <laughs> <laughs> I, I use a Eureka tent, and I think that thing was like four and a half pounds for a one-person tent. Like, 
Yeah, if, no, if you've I get got it. if you've got the budget to do better yeah. than that, please do better given, than that. But sure. uh, yeah, just keep things as simple as do you are suited to your skill set. Do you have any stories from your own experience where you took a piece of gear that Zach is talking about here that you didn't fully understand and you like shit the bed with it out there, or it like fucked you over? I mean, there's the time I thought the one was a two person tent. <laughs> <laughs> Exactly. My hiking partner did not like that. Um, you guys were cramming in that the one. I told her it was a two-person tent. It's the one you need. And I didn't tell her that I didn't <laughs> take it out of the box. That's what she thought that it I meant. I thought that's what it meant. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we've been saying that on our ads. But you thought it was a two? I, no, I just thought they called it the one because it's the one you need. <laughs> so that's I good. thought really that good. it was the one I needed, so I got it. And then I didn't test it out beforehand at all, so I just told her it was a two-person tent. Amazing. I had been comparing a lot of tents, so I think some information so got jumbled in the brain. Nope. Um, and then we slept in the one together the first night. She was very unhappy. Like, this is bullshit. She got a new tent in Mount Laguna. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and a new hiking partner in the Sierra. Ah! <laughs> We didn't make it past 700 miles, and I, you know, I'm That's sure. That's further than I've made it with other hiking partners. And, yeah, she is yeah. a saint for, for I was, you know. I was on the Arizona Trail, and I took Gossamer Gears. They have what's called, I think, the 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 twin, the Q-Twin, and they don't make it anymore, but it's made out of Cuban fiber, and it's a two-person, literally A-frame tarp tent, or tarp, just literally a flat tarp. And I didn't literally make the guy outs for it until I was halfway through the fucking Arizona Trail. <laughs> so I cowboy cam for the first half of the trail. And once you start getting in the back half of the Arizona Trail, you start getting into some like higher altitude where you can get snow and like sleet. And I was out in the middle of like a high altitude kind of like hike. We started getting sleeted on. I had to wrap myself like up in a burrito with it. <laughs> and then I had to like figure out how to like set up the guy outs. And I had no, I had never done guy outs before. Speaking of guy outs, <laughs> you know the story that I'm about to give. I don't think so. Do Colorado tell. Trail. What about? Oh, where that same exact, <laughs> that same exact uh, shelter then broke on the Colorado Trail right before we got in. Like we were at like 12, 13,000, 12, yeah, 12,000. It was feet. a stretch between Silverton and Lake City. We're yeah. like you're above twelve thousand feet for a couple of days. Yeah, and a storm was coming in, <laughs> and, and I was like, set, we were quickly setting up. By the way, no trees around, totally exposed. Yeah, and I'm setting up my tarp. And the fucking head, like, guy out, like, the, the one with all the tension comes off of that's right on the trekking pole, it breaks. It literally, like, the the like the, the seam snaps from the rest of the Cuban fiber. And I'm like, uh, Zach? And it's, like, almost dark, too, and we're freezing cold. Like, oh, man. We just climbed out of El Canyon, which is, by the way, a beautiful canyon. And... And I'm like, uh, I got to come into your tent. Luckily, he had a two-person tent. And then I was able to sleep in that for a few nights and much to Zach's uh, nostrils dismay because I was, was going to say, he rips him far the part I remember, <laughs> the part I was going to say I remember from this story from the last time we've told it on I an episode is the part where he came into your tent and was farting the whole time. Is the part that again. I remember. I, and I'm sure I've said this, but legitimately he's woken me up out of a sound sleep because his fart smelled so bad. <laughs> I literally, t- so I'm going to be hitting the Hey Duke in three weeks and I, I texted Cuckoo today, uh, Cuckoo Bird today. I said, what tent are you bringing? <laughs> I said, are you bringing the hubba hubba? He goes, why? Are you trying to sleep in it? <laughs> he knows. He knows. He well, fucking I've knows. definitely had a tent break with him too and I've had to sleep in his tent. Yeah. It's amazing. Go on. Sorry. Side side tangent there. That was good. <laughs> yeah. Um, so my advice is going to be more like external guidance um, for the listener, like how you would get like a horoscope in a magazine type thing. Mm. Um, so my advice slash guidance is if you are planning for a hike and looking at your gear and there's one thing that you're on the fence about bringing and you're like trying to find a sign that tells you whether or not to bring it or leave it at home. Um, my piece of advice slash external guidance is you don't need it. Leave it at home. Um, I'm not sure what this applies to. It's just whoever's listening probably has something they're thinking about for this, and they think that this applies directly to them because yeah. it's so relevant to what they've just been thinking about. Yeah. There's yeah. going to be one person listening. You like, don't need it. Do I need my sleeping no, bag? No, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> my, my like retort to that would be you're going to have like shit that you're going to realize – I mean, I hope you realize that you're not going to need once you're out there and you send that shit home. But, like, 
you think you might like you might be trying to carry that for the whole trail. Like your brain is just telling you these are the things I'm starting the trail with, and these are the things I'm taking with me the whole time. So once you're out there, realize this is and this is obviously my advice. Realize that if you're not using that shit at all, that it's extra weight that you don't like. If you use it one time on the trail, if you use it one time per month. You know, get rid of that. Oh my god, yeah, that camera right there. Yeah, uh, I I bought that for the PCT and I sent it home uh, at Warner Springs. Yeah, that's pretty because I was on. just like, I have to take this thing out every time I want to click the button. Yeah. Absolutely not. It's I've definitely <laughs> hiked a, a lot of, a lot of miles with a, a mirrorless lens, and it and and if you don't have it easily accessible, you're not going to use it. No, like you're just not. You're not going to stop and pull, put your pack down and pull it out. That's for sure. I had one of those like highly compressible towels that everyone gets from REI. Like Pretty they hang off did. the ex- yeah, they hang out on the outside <laughs> of your pack. And I think I used it like one time in the first two weeks of the trail. Someone had like dirty socks as a towel. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was just so impressed by the technology. Like it's one of those uh sham wow yeah, fabrics. Yeah. Like it's a pretty cool thing, but yeah, totally unnecessary. Yeah. Actually I'm- I actually just did like a coaching call last week and I had to like have this argument with him he's like but it weighs nothing like what if i had get a spill in my tent like use your bandana use use your anything like you just don't need this use thing. your it's clean redundant. shirt and let it dry on your pack yeah. then like whatever who cares perhaps this will segue into our next segment but like why do you need to bring a towel uh so for me i didn't know what i was getting myself right. into i just thought that like there was gonna be splashing in my tent all the time and because i was <laughs> my tent was not very good it's a fucking i thought you were gonna say because i swim because i shower like something normal but okay no, you're I don't, splashing in your tent i don't swim and i definitely don't shower I got, <laughs> but there is lots of splash i don't know like i honestly so the tent that i had uh the awning whatever was very was very short like it's extended like maybe five inches out from the edge of the tent like it doesn't go all the way down like a normal tent would so like anytime wind was blowing rain i was getting that into my tent your it was, tent? The yeah eureka tent i got it for free yeah. uh i was like stoked that i was getting gear for free and i didn't know any better like i was like a this is a good tent this is a reputable brand you can get it at cabela's or whatever yeah. like this is what you need to hike the trail mm-hmm. um but yeah, it was a terrible tent. I ended up using it the entire way just because of stubbornness and budget. But yeah. That was a decade ago for you. Literally a decade. Yeah. I missed the anniversary. Everyone does their anniversary post. I don't all think the time. about them. I don't either. Like, I don't think about I'm, my anniversaries I'm, anymore. I'm, I many. think I have like a black heart because I'm not sentimental like that. I, like, the only mm-hmm. anniversary I specific, specifically remember at this point is the date that I started my first Appalachian Trail hike. Yeah, which not is, even that. March 17th. Did I miss it? Yep. <laughs> St. Patrick's Day. It makes it so I, honestly, easy for you. I didn't do shit on St. Patrick's Day because I got so Neither drunk during the big snowstorm that I couldn't get drunk during the St. Patrick's Day extravaganza. Well, Toss um, is worried that she couldn't get drunk on her birthday, but she made it happen. We yeah. have similar. We have close birthdays. Mine's the 14th. Mine's the 8th. Oh my god! We yeah. live in the same town. We live the same What's birthdays. Your sign? Pisces. Yeah, bro. What does that mean? It we're means fish. we're creative we're and emotional. No, it means we're fish. Yeah, we're fish. Pisces. <laughs> <laughs> We can't feel feelings. Literally, we're cre- <laughs> we are creative and emotional. No, we feel yeah. too many feelings. Oh, my, my, I, I actually don't. I've got, I've got your guys' horoscope <laughs> right here. That's what you say, but inside. Oh, let's hear it. Let's hear what they say about me. What do the cards have in store right. for my Pi- month? Pisces horoscope. Uh, today's March 25th for everybody Is that's it? wondering. Yeah, I guess you're right. Uh, not March 17th. <laughs> That's it. the first That's note that week, I made. That was a week ago. The, the first line is, it's not March 17th, Jabba. <laughs> <laughs> Idiot. Uh, yeah. A relationship that you may have recently formed might have you in a in a dither today. Is that a word that people yeah, use? Like post yeah. dither. Shakespearean. Negative feeling like yeah, a dither. Like you just feel like not, a non-happy like kind of like shitty way. Mm. It sounds Shakespearean. It's like, Shakespearean. Or like <laughs> Dilbertian to me. Uh, this could be a romantic, this could be romantic or some other sort of acquaintance. You may not be sure about which way you want this involvement to develop. I need to zoom in on this. My eyes are bad. See, uh, we're emotional. We're already yeah. upset with whoever we're interested in. No, I was upset because Zach needs glasses <laughs> and won't wear them. <laughs> so you're upset. <laughs> kill him. This, this isn't the day to think about it, as things probably won't become a, won't become clear today. Wait a few days, get to know the person a little better, and then consider your options. Uh, this horoscope blows. <laughs> that was very uh, teenage girly, although probably <laughs> they know their audience. All right. <laughs> 
Uh, so that was <laughs> random piece of Delete. backpacking advice. Of <laughs> I like today. that you had to check what the title of the segment was because we got so far off topic. Because I'm <laughs> here, guys. <laughs> I actually like how terrible the title is. I don't want to lose it. I want to hold on yeah, to it. Yeah, of course. <laughs> like it's a little puppy. Sure. Okay, this is a Zach Davis original segment. I'm going to take full credit for this one. This came to me in the shower, and you'll get the full context. I bet it did. Yes, it did. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, (laughs) I also want to say – actually, I'll say it after I say that. So so the segment is gross or not gross. So we have to pitch something that has happened in our lives, recent memory, whatever – that we're on the fence. Like, there's certain things that we do that, like, yeah, that's obviously fucking gross. Don't pitch that here. Or you could be like, yeah, I use socks two days in a row. That's not gross. Uh, there are things that are in that gray area, and we're going to be our own judge and jury here, right? So uh, I also want to point out that when I pitched this to Chance, I forgot what your reaction was, but it was like, oh, dear fucking God. It was something to that extent. But we're not I trying to like, go for gross, gross, gross. Well, here, okay, not, so it's... But we might... We're using our own barometers, right? Like yeah, I think you and I are pretty gross. My barometer for myself. I think is the way two of you have it a lot. Other people so. easier because people expect you to be gross as boys. Chance, you've told Sexist. horrific shit stories on this podcast, right? Yeah. Like you, I said you earlier, you want to get paid for peeing on your face, yeah, on this podcast. <laughs> And I will and, and circle you back to it earlier. And defended it. Still will. will circle back to earlier. Um, with entry number two, it is completely different telling a gross story on this podcast versus in real life where like people actually listen. I just oftentimes think about like 10 years down the line when I'll eventually Chance, regret we're this. We're on a runaway train. In like seven years, the podcast is going to be making so much money that this will be your full-time job. You don't have to worry about your relationships. You don't have to worry about your career. Like this it will be everything for you. Oh, I'm so glad we have like seven cameras recording this i can't wait um so I'm very excited yeah. yes i've got some things that i do have i've actually i'm actually curious about um so i only have one but i might have to i guess i'll start while you think uh so this goes back to the elimination diet thing which i was totally right about i took off for my birthday and fell completely off the bandwagon and i'm now drinking wine mm. so kudos to me for but is your life better now Oh my god, I'm way happier. Wait, I was like what? literally in depression, and now I just like what have a really bad stomach from? ache, not being able to eat anything. Why? I was on an elimination diet, um, oh, which basically and, cuts out everything. And you went down the rabbit hole because I've had really bad stomach issues for a while. Same, currently, all the time. And after six <laughs> weeks with no alcohol or food that's like has a crunch to it, sure. I decided I'd rather have stomach issues. Yes, I every day make yeah. that decision. So I'm like. <laughs> Bloated and yeah. uncomfortable and happy. Gassy. Real gassy <laughs> yeah. today. But I feel great. Yeah, you're happy. Because it's like it's a joy to well. experience all that, that there is to be able to eat and drink. It was eliminating your will to live. I eliminated the happiness. diet. No, I eliminated. for my diet. Happiness. No, I eliminated the diet. Um, But <laughs> so the part that I'm qu- curious about, if it's gross or not gross, is like there is a point where like things were just so bleak and it was like who gives a shit? It's the same ingredients in different forms every fucking time. Um, Mush. So I just took it all and I put it in this large pot and I just let it cook until the turkey looked done. And I was like, cool. And then I put it in a Tupperware in the fridge and I just like ate from it all week, anytime I was hungry. And like honestly, like it was a mush. Like it had so it had like the frozen carrot coins from Trader Joe's. It had like a broccoli medley. It had like mushrooms that were diced really small onions that were diced really small like which kind of turned it really mushy and it, it eventually came out as like you could take it and like make it like a snowball into a ball if you wanted and it would hold shape that's okay hot. so we both have to ask <laughs> at least one follow-up question and then <clears throat> the final rule is uh chance counts down she goes three two one and then at that point you and i give our verdict at the same time mm, i didn't know these were pressed. zach's just, feeling very just creative i just i just invented that so. <laughs> okay one follow-up question i'm um, gonna start so how long were you doing this <laughs> this this was the full week yeah it was just like who cares at it goes point, to the same place. It's the same stuff. At any point, was any of were any of the ingredients slimy? Kind of. Um, that's two questions, but I will add and wow, say at that least one with <laughs> the oh. carrot coins from Trader Joe's, those are delicious, by the way. Some of the carrots are purple. Mm. So what those did when I added them, because I was just honestly taking everything that looked like it could go in it and tossing it in, um, they turned everything purple. So it was a purple, mushy, just thing that was in a Tupperware that I just ate from all week. Yeah. 
Okay. Now I'm and happily you, off it. But. Yeah. And your stomach <laughs> felt fine with that. I mean, it was the same ingredients I was eating normally. I just didn't feel like preparing it every single meal, so no. I just threw so it all in my, a pot. Here's my follow-up question. <laughs> yeah. How long is the farthest length of time with which you would eat that? Like... How long? How long would that last? Like, how much food was that? How long? How many days would it go? Would, would you go like over a week? Like, would you still be eating that? Okay. like a week and a half in. I and... threw. I threw some of it out, so I did get to That's... the point where I was questioning because you can't tell if it's bad when all of it looks purple and it's all kind of purple. weird shape. Because <laughs> of the carrot coins. Carrot <laughs> coins are. You mean like purple carrots? Yeah. Oh, the, okay. The, were you here two seconds? Ago? I mean, why are they purple? Like, I mean, oh my gosh. So what, wait, I, I, so, like, okay, so Trader Joe's some, has these purple-y. frozen bags of carrot coins, and they're little sliced carrots that look like little coins, and they're different colors. So, so it bled like to the other things. Green co- yeah, and so the purple carrot coins made everything turn purple, I'm, which made it worse. I'm seeing this <laughs> fucking purple mush. It's so bad. And e- I'll save my judgment, but I mean, I, I'm, I am the kind of eater that doesn't give a shit about texture, I didn't give a shit. Like, if, they, if there's nutrients verified, to be verified, eating. Verified, verified. If there's so, nutrients that are be eating I, and they're not rotten. Like, I've seen this guy eat, like, at a uh, five-star caliber restaurant and, like, the shittiest buffet. And I think in his brain it's the exact same thing. <laughs> I mean, like, you saw, me. like, you saw photos <laughs> of the meals I was making. They looked good. It's just, it was the same ingredients every time. Ground turkey with the same spices, <laughs> with the same vegetables, and, uh, like, prepared in a different way. I, and I did a version of... Uh, I think it was restrictive in a different way, but I did what you did for my health a long time ago. I think that you need that inspiration. You need to be like, am I going to die or am I going to eat this? I'd rather die is what you learn yeah, at the end. Kind but, of, kind um, of. Yeah, so it was like, I like the taste had to be, the taste was fine. Like literally fine in the finest sense. It wasn't good, it wasn't bad, but it was like the same thing I'd been eating every day for six months months just less effort in the making it department yeah um but to answer your question jabba i think after five days i stopped eating it that's fair that's fine I, i'll eat older food i made my verdict i am ready okay you have to count down when so, did you make your verdict you sound very sure i'm very sure i was i was actually back and forth i was back and forth I i'm think, so nervous I now think, wow i think when you hear mine <laughs> you'll know that my verdict was made pretty early on Oh, you're going to say gross. Okay, three, two, one. Gross. Not gross. <laughs> wow! <laughs> really? That's so kind. Yeah. I <laughs> when did you decide already... gross? I just decided gross. Why? <laughs> <laughs> because I felt Zach was going to say not gross. <laughs> Wait, so it's not even how you feel? <laughs> it, it, it is, in a way, I feel gross only because everything became purple. He feels gross that's, knowing that's you. That's a part gross. That is I didn't a part like it. Of it. It is not. It doesn't it look was weird appetizing. To eat. I would eat it. But I didn't want to waste the. Gross. I didn't want to waste the food, and I literally took my week's worth of groceries and just put it in this pot. So it was like, yeah, if I get rid no, of it, I got no, rid of all no, my I'm groceries. With, I'm with you on this. On the saving <laughs> oh, the food yes. and, and getting the nourishment in you. I, I understand it, and I'm with that. But it is gross. I mean, Elliot wouldn't try it, and I was like, just try a bite, and he's like, no. And, I, and <laughs> it's not so much that it is gross to me, but it, it is gonna be like. That purple mush. It did get kind you of sticky. You can ball up. Well, it was the small, it was the little, really little diced onions and mushrooms that kind of got the slimy part to it because mm-hmm. they had like cooked for so long with yeah. the other can stuff. Can we get a picture for the show notes? <laughs> um, I didn't a take video? a picture of it because I didn't really want to remember. I, I will say, I'm very stubborn when it comes, like if I, I'm not a waster. If yeah, the same. That's what and it like is. if I if I'm making a new recipe new recipe in the crock pot, I'm making like a big batch of it, yeah. and then you have that first bite, you're like, this is not fucking. I right. have to eat this. I, I spend money on this shit. The next six days, I'm eating a meal that is terrible. <laughs> Wrap it in a burrito. Yeah. Fry it up. And Since like I have to like pitch Jenna on why it's not that bad. I'm like, no, add some garlic salt. Um, like it's terrible. Of course, it's really bad. <laughs> I feed my wife this gruel every night. <laughs> You're up, Leo. (laughs) And we're going to see a marriage therapist. (laughs) It's my mom. (laughs) Since we've mentioned several times how my family listens and it's like a safe space. um, (laughs) 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 Sorry, Dad. I've got a lot of childhood memories. (laughs) My mom really liked buying rotisserie chicken as like a dinner option when we were young because she didn't have to do anything. Already made, right. She literally thinks cooking is a waste of time. Um, But like... We'd eat the rotisserie chicken and she'd put like obviously like the little skeleton rotisserie in the trash and like just like memories of like my dad standing next to the sink with a trash can next to him and the radio playing and like just a can of beer and he's just like 
picking chicken off the, the, the thing in the trash. Doesn't even take it out. It's in the trash can. That's what you should have gone with. picking the chicken off, eating it while listening to the radio. That's what you should have gone with for your gross or not gross. And that I don't think that's gross. <laughs> Because it's like it's your garbage. That's what he said. There was yeah. okay. So this is specifically so I, I in the what memory is bank. In that garbage, I'm not. I don't care. My mom comes out of her <laughs> office and is like livid. I don't know how old I am at this point. Livid. Garbage. Yelling at him. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yelling at him the exact stuff. And he's like, it's literally like a clean bag. Like who cares? Like it's all stuff from like recently. Yeah. Every yeah. excuse in the book. Um, so I've got. I've got two. I, Let me go next because... Oh, God damn you. <laughs> God damn it, Frank. No, 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 it's no. my podcast. I want to go no, next. No, 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 no. Because That's fine. I got two in case somehow you pick the same one. My my regret is not going first because <laughs> this is a very different tone than the one that John's just set. <laughs> and like, I just want to get this terribleness out of the way. Let's That's go. how I feel right now. Okay. <laughs> so I'm going to walk you through a scenario that happened to me the other day. <laughs> Can't wait. All right. So... And maybe there's a certain point where it crosses the line. I like that you're already red. I'm not. He loves it. He can't <laughs> wait. <laughs> I am actually a little bit hot and a little bit drunk. <laughs> hot, hot in the pants area. Hot and bothered. Okay. So, okay. So tell me where I cross the line. So get in the shower. Cross. <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> uh, shower's a little bit backed up. You know, we've old pipes. I'm sorry. Shower is back up? <laughs> like the, like the drain. toilet? The drain. Like so, it doesn't it doesn't oh. like it's there's a it's little bit of ginger pube. <laughs> Listen, I am part Sasquatch. Shout out Liz Stroud. Uh, I'm I'm in the shower for about six seconds. Pee. Yes. Pee in the shower. Oh, I'm in. A little bit backed up. Sorry, not gross. Your I mean, pee wait. backed it up. <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, you said pee backed it up. No, no, no. The pee, <laughs> it's backed up. Okay. A little bit backed up. It's still flowing, but like it's starting to build a Pooling. little bit. The, the, it's yeah. yellowing out a little yeah. bit. Yeah, and yeah. You're, yeah, okay. So I'm going into you my normal. You can't tell where your feet end and it begins. Yeah. <laughs> I, I start with my normal shower routine. First thing I do is I grab my uh, Cetaphil bar of soap and I wash my face. Not much soap left. I drop the bar of soap. Is that the end? Is that where we pick I, up? I pick up the Look, bar of soap. I'm so <laughs> embarrassed. I'm so glad we're I, getting video I, of this. I pick up the bar of soap. Where did you put Okay, and here's then my, you wash here's your my face question one. Here's well, my question I, one. Where I did do, you put you the soap? It. I rinse you it. Rinse I rinse it for a Where did you put seconds. it? Where did I put what? The soap after. Where's the, where did you put it? On your face? On your it's armpits? It's, it's, it's my Cetaphil. face soap. It's his face soap. Oh, okay. I missed that part. Dedicated face soap. That changes things. I used to use Cetaphil when I was younger. And I used it. Yeah. Is that right. assumed? Okay, I didn't know Cetaphil was face Yeah, soap. I mean, there's a I pump action bottle, and I just then got there's the a bar. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So um, I'll have, a, I'll have a, a question. Yeah. What color was your pee when it came out of your penis? Very technical. <laughs> <laughs> As oh. it was coming out of your penis, what color <laughs> was the pee? When the urine exited your urethra. <laughs> With Crayola when crayola hit the oxygen of the air. <laughs> Weird place to say this, but this reminds me of a question I have to ask after this segment. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. okay. Uh, I will say I was pretty well hydrated. So what color? So like the, you could see there was a yellowish tint beneath okay. me, but it wasn't like. Was it this school bus yellow or Easter no, yellow? No, no, no. This isn't like, it wasn't like you just had supplements and no, this no, bright, no, 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 bright, no, no, bright yellow. No, no, no. You are hydrated. Like a newly born chick? Because that, that matters. It. it they had, you, could you smell your? Here's my second no, question. No, could no you scent. smell your pee? No scent. No scent. Did Are you, you rinse that? off the soap with soap? No, that's the dumbest shit. What I've if ever. you put like shampoo on no, it and then no, you scrub I've it? Never in my life have I, I can picture a shampoo doing that. Your soap. How does that? I clean my soap with Listen, my other hey, soap. If that, if that is so like have far you fetched, clean your soap with soap. If that is so far fetched of a question, then this should be an obvious, not gross. No, I disagree. I well, disagree. then what part makes it gross if it's just nothing I, no you need to ever clean? No one said it was gross yet, really. I don't think so. We got. We're not there yet, Chance. Then I had you put in the cart before the horse. I'm right? just saying. <laughs> you wash you wash washcloths. Why? <laughs> you do? Actually, I'll be, I'll be perfectly honest with you. I haven't used a washcloth since I was like a no. 13-year-old kid. I don't know. Yeah, maybe, maybe furniture, but no washcloths. West Elm furniture, no washcloth. <laughs> I legitimately don't even know what you do with a washcloth. I, it's a dumb pe- It's just a sun <laughs> collecting mildew and possibly mold, depending on how long it sits yeah. there. I, I refuse, thought it was emergency toilet paper. I refuse I, to believe you do not have dish towels on your stove. 
You're yeah. married with a kid. You have dish towels on your stove. Yeah, but that's not a washcloth. That's not a washcloth. Yeah, but like they're the same towel. types of things you use no, them to clean surfaces. No, 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 one no, is no, to no. dry off dishes. The other one is to wash your body, right? Yes. What? Yes. A washcloth is not to wash your body. What a you wash- the oh, what's a washcloth for? Washing off like surfaces and stuff. Like- you use a washcloth to wash your house? <laughs> I do. I'm losing my <laughs> mind right now. I am, my mind I is I think Chance's brain is gross. Can I retract my statement? So wait, why are you talking about a washcloth gonna... pertaining to the shower right now? And well, you, you use ever it have to clean like your a, home. You have that wet little washcloth that you keep next to the sink, so if you need to wipe down a surface, it's no, wet. No, the washcloth is there. for your body. Leah, be a tiebreaker here. Wow. Mom. <laughs> We're going to. No, no, no. no, no. Chance is way off base. No, 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 no. We're no, going no. in the fourth dimension. I use a washcloth. Thank you. Thank you. You might. Leah's so fired. does my mom. Leah's the fired. washcloth is originally designed for a human's body. There are two different That's kinds. Different yes. Sure, sure, sure. Well, the one that's in the shower. I don't use what, uh, what we're talking about here. I should I should preface <laughs> this. I don't have a washcloth yeah, in the okay. shower, oh, so this is kind of like a yeah. no. I, that's not what I think of when I think of a washcloth. So where I is think it, what you're describing is a rag. A what you're describing is a rag. It's not a washcloth if you're cleaning surfaces with it. It's a rag. Yeah. I mean tomato, tomato. Uh, tomato, uh, potato. potato, tomato. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I could call it a washcloth. Even though it's a rag, you may now you're I'll fired. A rag sounds okay. like it's like Let's it's got to be thrown here. out. Let's get back to Zach. Like here. a rag is like yeah. a dirty. Anyway, Listen, we know what a rag you is. You peed in the <laughs> shower. You dropped your face soap. I drink some of the pee soap. Yeah. You lick the oh, soap I naturally. I squeeze the soap into my mouth. <laughs> uh, okay. okay. Do you, are there any up, other follow up questions? I, are you so getting three hundred dollars? What color it was? I was not paid for this incident. There's no compensation. Got it. doing this on my own. Here's my last follow-up question. Um, does your wife know you pee in the shower? Everyone she doesn't know, but shower. she knows. I mean... <laughs> Jenna pees in the shower. All the time. Well, wait, oh, 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 this is a larger question here, right? Like, Everyone pees in the in shower. Peeing in the shower... Now it's your shower. I just shower. assume that Jenna takes dumps in the shower. <laughs> well, we installed why that garbage th- disposal. Why do you think the drain's clogged? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, it's like a two thousand. By the way, <laughs> not gross. I'm gonna go out on the limb. Not gross. <laughs> Shower garbage disposal for the shit. Totally appropriate. <laughs> All right. You just push your way, belly this button. This is a Seinfeld episode. <laughs> Kramer installs the garbage disposal, and he's cleaning all the all the produce in his shower. And then he makes a salad for everybody, and he serves it to him. They're like, they're like, yeah, where'd you make this? He's like, uh, in the shower. And they're like, Ugh. that's a real gross. episode. That that's a real episode. Oh, okay, that's, and that's gross. <laughs> Making a salad in the shower. Yeah. If you're Johnson's within like three hundred yeah. feet, oh, he's inches. naked. Yeah. She's in the shower naked with it. You need some clothing. To yeah. separate you and the produce. Um, I have one more question, which is how much time lagged between it falling in the pee and it touching your face? Five second rule. Just the amount of time that it took me to rinse it. Uh, I did. How long forward, did you rinse back, it? Back, forward, back, forward, and then back. He rinsed it good. No sides. Listen, I'm ready to make a. I deliberate. mean, the rotation would get the. <laughs> I'm yeah, I'm, I, I've got. I had my answer okay. a long time. I'm ready ago. to deliberate. Three, two. One. Gross. Not gross. <laughs> <laughs> it would have been Slippery. not gross if it was anywhere but your face. It was my face soap. Listen, and listen. <laughs> what is pee, right? Okay? <laughs> let's break this let's down. Break, let's get it down to the science. <laughs> pee is not like bacteria. No. Right? It's not. It's a sterile liquid that... You, comes out of your body. It doesn't hurt anything. It's not that bad. Maybe it smells like popcorn sometimes. Who knows? But... <laughs> I, we got plenty of cups here. You could take one in the bathroom and show us how not gross it is. just splash it on my face. <laughs> uh, how do you keep a nice sheen on your beard, Java? I piss on myself. As per Chance's money-making scheme. It's <laughs> actually my backpacking. My it's my backpacking advice yeah. of the day. By the way, Chance said it is gross. Yeah, well, and so she only because you put it on your face. Will money for someone else's piss to be on her face. Or missing but the you money can't part. Pee on your own soap. I did right? ask well, if he was getting paid your for body it. In a shower <laughs> of cleanly water. That's a good I point. I did That's ask good... if he was getting paid for it. That's bullshit. So, that, <laughs> this That's is bullshit. several degrees of grossness above what I'm. Well, describing. also, it would still be. Gr- Here's the thing: is you're assuming that it's not gross if someone pees on a person. Not going to say myself because my parents are not mad at me right now. But <laughs> right on a, now. another person. Um, 
Well, they don't understand your logic, I guarantee you. I've never <laughs> said that it's not gross. It's just the money part of it makes it... How, but how can you say it's gross and still accept the money? That, it's a good point, because if you think what I'm doing is gross... Money, then it... <laughs> <laughs> you then you're just fucking, oh, yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> So, well, it's just a person objectively, not me specifically. Thanks for your piss, dirty boy. <laughs> or girl. <laughs> yeah, so we now know what we're going to get out of Chance from the OnlyFans account. If she's, if someone could pee on her face for $300, wow. what will she no do soap. for five I just want to clarify, this is not actually something I want. I love that we're back on this. Okay. <laughs> Gotcha. So, Every time you come here, we talk about it. It was the only. La- it was the last time I was here. That was it. That's all we can talk about. I know. That's all we care about. <laughs> Every time. <Yeah. laughs> all right. So, so another Seinfeld ism on this subject. George pees in a public gym shower. Mm. Somebody sees him peeing. Is it gross or not gross? If you pee in a shower, it's all pipes. It's all going to the same place. You're not peeing. Like all over the shower, you're peeing down the drain. You're giving yourself too much credit, Travis. Over here, with this. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Woo! I mean, I've never gone to like, like okay, thinking Have you ever about this in a public in a, shower. Well, thinking about this in that sort of a you're way, in a hostile shower. <laughs> that's what. I, that's where I was about to go. Right. Is I've never gone to like a motel on trail and like in the shower been like I shouldn't pee here. Yeah. Right. It's just like you exactly. get in the shower and you pee. That's what right. you do. No doubt. <laughs> so, well, it's got, so glad to hear it. Setting glad doesn't matter. <laughs> I actually am on the other end of that spectrum. If what? I'm, if you I'm think a, about if it? If I'm lodging somewhere with anybody, if I have a hotel room to myself, I peeing in the shower. Sense. But like, if I'm sharing the room with anybody no, else. No, you don't. You're making this up I right swear now. to fucking God. I swear that to fucking God. That is not this true. This guy is not first of all, First of all, I have a very strong bladder. I can drink a liter of water before I go to bed and hold it till the morning. I have That's wild. Yeah, it's That's crazy. That's wild. It's crazy. So I can, You're I have, an alien. I, yeah, I, something about the warm chance, water just makes you kind of want to let I can loose. do things, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I can do stuff. Yeah. So holding it through the shower is no problem for me. It does. I do have to run it through the filter of like, who am I upsetting in this process? And like, no one. Potentially, oh, I, someone. Who's You're gonna be point. like? Wait who's gonna be wait like? Hey, no, I wait stood wait in the point. shower point. and I got this, this vibe. Somebody that I talked to 15 seconds ago said that pee is gross. <laughs> When you're rubbing it on your foot. Well, this girl is all full yeah, of shit. She has Here's no the idea. Thing. She's the most inconsistent person I've ever met. She is wild <laughs> accusations. She's and can't even. Woman. I agree. I just think that I'm like giving objective so, opinions so here, on here, it. But here's the part of my question within this that makes it interesting is the integrity part of what if somebody saw you do that in the shower that they're also either about to use or are using? Then, Are you going to be peeing? Wait a second. Uh, in I would showers, not be do you upset. Use sandals? Do you wear sandals? No. Uh, actually, if I had my bed rocks, I'd wear them. Depending on how dirty that place is. I don't. So if you knew that like twenty other people had just peed on that floor, right? That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Now I'm definitely wearing sandals. I didn't know that everyone was dirty motherfuckers like right. you guys. Okay, gross right? or not gross, I oftentimes <laughs> don't wear sandals. That's gross. Never have I ever. <laughs> That's gross. <laughs> yeah. Uh, this is a too. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, I like, like where this is going. Here's okay. the thing is, when you go to the bathroom, your butt's touching everyone else's butt, you know? And, like, there's, like, there's so many scenarios where that happens. That. But the hole, the hole is in a But it's not my screen. face. Like, I'm not, I'm not rubbing my face on the bathroom, on the shower floor. It's How the bottom of my, not? it's the bottom of my foot, which touches so many other gross things that it's like, eh. Hey. Listen, I am the kind of person that will pass out from being too drunk in a festival shitter, okay? So all the gross shit doesn't gross. fuck with me. <laughs> this shit doesn't fuck with me at all, okay? Like, it really doesn't. All right, which bleeds into my next... Yeah, what's yours? Here we go. Yeah, let's go. One baby wipe folded over oh, to I its love most, it, I love it, I love to it. To its most extreme... <laughs> So how many folds are we talking here? I mean, I, I haven't counted them, but I'll go till you are at the limit of two fingers. <laughs> like an acid tablet? Uh, not that far. That's <laughs> two fingers. <laughs> not a pinky thumb, like a pinky nail or something. Well, you saying, know how big an acid tablet is? Yes, I do. <laughs> I also know how small they can be and then how big they can be. All right. So, um, yeah, no, I mean, I, do you, how far do you take a baby wipe? I just think mm. we have more in common than you think. That's great. That's great. How far will you, you go with Pisces. that baby wipe? Uh, how, <laughs> how, Pisces. how close does the not clean part get to my right. fingers? Yes, I'll take it. <laughs> take it to the limit. Uh, so 
you're doing this in the context like you only have one wipe left or you're trying you to just, no you i'll have frugal. all the wipes and <laughs> i'm using frugal. one yeah, you just okay frugal. so hold on i'm trying to use one okay, so to, so to Dude, narrow this down most efficient so if to you narrow use this more, down, then you have more to pack out. Hold on, hold on, just, hold on. You know. hold to, on. to narrow this down, I'm going to need to know how many folds are we talking. Um, just go through it in your mind. Give me that like, paper towel. Do you like a give fake, me a paper towel? Right. I mean, I can often clean the job with one white wipe. I'll clean the job up with one white wipe. Ooh, <laughs> I've got some jobs, John. Let me tell so, you. So, so let's say that this is let's say this is about one baby wipe right here. Okay, okay? okay. that's a baby wipe. Sure. All right, Fair is, that, is that cool? Yeah. We all can can agree on this. Yeah. Sure. Pretty used, clearly. <laughs> all right, one. No, first of all, I'll start here. Yeah, wipe. yeah, yeah. All right, here. <laughs> wipe. Here. Yeah. And by the way, I am. I'm strategic about. Oh, you got to get the right angle. Well, no, no, no. I'm strategic in like where the like like. So when you do that first wipe and you fold. There's like a place where your fingers can go that like it doesn't bleed through. Sure, you want to, you know, you want to, you want to make it. I, in the I, center. So, so yeah, so I'm like strategic about where, so that the yeah. next fold. Uh, so I'll go all the way. So here we go. That's a, that's one, two. I'm wait, agreeing one. so far. One, one two. two, three. I'll go there. I'll, I'll do that. There. One. I'll do that one. I've gone here. I've I think that's just like a that's a safety here. check. And, and it is, I, but so, you're but how do you know how clean it is? At least when you're rubbing up on the sides and all well, that shit. Well, I feel shit. like you do that one. To me, it depends one. on, like, how your messy. hand sanitizer. <laughs> no, you do that <laughs> one. It depends on how dirty that one is. You do that is. one. Let's assume it's the dirtiest. You do this one, and I'm if not anything again is, after that. If anything is on that one, I when have. you do no. that one, then you get a new wipe. <laughs> I folded it one more time. You did not. I mean, this is a paper towel. Like, it doesn't want to fold over, but a pa- baby wet wants to fold over again. I will say, when you get to this point and you do it one more time, it's just, if there's anything left, it's okay, I need another wipe. But it's more of like a, like a, the job is done, I'm just making sure. And so, then it's like, oh, yep, I'm done, John's, or oh, John's, I better get a new one. If you're like me, which I, apparently I thought you were, the job might not be done. <laughs> yeah, but I start to get. It starts to get kind of. The job sca- is never done, John. <laughs> it just. It the job is to, never done. It starts to get scary at that point. Yeah, my fingers. My 100. fingers get too close to the danger zone, <laughs> and that's that. What I'm saying is that fold is where I say, if there's anything left, it's a new wipe. I don't. So go, that's I where don't it go goes there. From not gross to gross. I'm less than. It ten, goes so, from so like let's count the folds because most okay. people are listening to this. Okay, okay, okay. Shout out to Leah who's doing the video. So okay, if you guys okay. want to watch this, this will be on this YouTube. Is where, Assuming you that guys Leah like doesn't throw up and then die in her own throat because she's listening okay. to this conversation. You get one wipe. <laughs> Love that concept. Two die wipes. In your own throat. Three wipes. Four wipes. Five is safety you, check. So, but let's say it's not safe after five. New wipe. Because the whole you, here's on, the thing are is you like, always going five wipes because like no I'm not counting I've never actually counted until just I'm now saying, like is that the formation or, that you're always going? you get to a point where you're folding the paper where it becomes kind of hard to get it to fold evenly to get the corners to touch because it's getting so thick and yeah. I think that's where you just gotta call it a day. I, I think this is where Tom and I can this probably where, speak to like some things are just so messy that like I'm gonna fold it maybe a couple times because I know this is gonna be like a process but like, like I'm how, gonna be here for the next half hour. It's gonna be terrible. I'm gonna lose friends. It's gonna be real bad. I Look don't how small talk about this is. This later, <laughs> other people. Yeah. We're gonna to have to like have a memorial for what just <laughs> happened. I just think Here like lies every bit of my insides. <laughs> Based on how small it is, how close it has to be is just too. It's oh, too. And, it gets too go, close for comfort to at finger. that point. I'll switch to Your one finger. Your fingers wet. I have and definitely that, switched <laughs> to one finger at that point. Yeah, and I'll go middle. I'll go middle finger. I'm afraid. To fuck I'm myself. afraid <laughs> with the amount of alcohol that I've consumed, how open I'm willing to get with this conversation. So I think we should change the subject. I, I think we should not. <laughs> I'm thinking that you both have very hairy butts. So when he's like, "I'll go one finger," I'm I like, "You're still gonna be like in the butt. weeds." I have to shave my butt because it gets so hairy. I like. I just picture. Yeah, like one what do you mean you don't get a hairy butt? Look at you. <laughs> You're telling me you don't have a hairy butt. It's not as hairy as, like, I've seen hairier people. I've seen much hairier people. I so promise you. I refuse to believe so that. I, I sw- uh, show listen, me your I, butt. I, on, okay. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'll do it. Show me your butt. You want me to, <laughs> I want to see your butt. <laughs> I have a video, actually. <laughs> it's not a hairy butt. I'm about to find out how hairy his butt is. Not that bad. That's not. What about the crack? That's what I'm wondering. You want me to spread them? You want me to spread them? You want full fucking anal 
Academy. And then cough, no, please. <laughs> now cough twice. <laughs> He's going to do it. He's going to do no, it. No, I don't I'm want okay. it. Okay. I will say the cheek was less, less I'm hairy. Telling, I but lie. you know what? Like, it wasn't not hairy. So I, that I, only I know leads me to believe. To this off as me not being hairy I'm just saying where that small little sixth fold is going is a lot hairier than what I just. No, saw. no. What it is is it's fucking meteor. I know. I'm a bigger boy. You note know, to like, Leah: when we upload this video, we have to check the nudity box now. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't count. You didn't see anything but never, the cheek. Sh- I never okay. said I was a shaved baby porpoise. Okay, I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm not as hairy Imagine as my beard Imagine you did that and it was like a swimmer, like a male swimmer, how they just yeah. like for the dynamics of it. <laughs> There's a scene, you ever see the movie The Other Guys? Yeah. yeah. There's a scene where they go over to this, to Will Ferrell's ex-girlfriend's house, this beautiful blonde, like you would never imagine that this girl would ever want to be into Will Ferrell. And this husband of this person is this hairy, weird guy. And he's like... He's like sitting in the room with Mark Wahlberg all by himself, and Mark Wahlberg's like, "I can't believe I have to sit in this fucking room with this guy." <laughs> and he looks over at Mark Wahlberg, and he's like, "I know what you're thinking. That I'm so hairy that I must be uh, hairy all over." And he's like, "But I'm not." And he just goes shaved. <laughs> <laughs> and Mark is like, "Alan!" <laughs> it's fucking hysterical. It's one of my favorite scenes in any movie. It's, it's amazing. But anyways, that's me from the chest down. Uh, <laughs> Zach shaves. <laughs> I have to. Yeah. Like, You're legit, ha- you might be hairier so, than me. So, so I definitely am, like, all over my Back, body. Back, like, yeah, all no, of it. Right? I, I legitimately have to shave not all parts of my body, but most parts of my body. Because it gets out of control. Yeah. I mean, like, I don't use, like, a razor. I use, yeah, yeah. like, a, a trip, the trimmer. Clippers, yeah. But, yeah. Uh, to the Those question things- that you were alluding to, like... I, you were saying that your butt gets so hairy that the poop will interfere with it? That's, that's no, a real I, thing. That is a real thing. I just think your fingers are getting closer to the guys that aren't on the butt but are more stuck on the way out. You know, like the ones that are like... This girl has no idea about butthole hair, I think. Uh, I just think that like little pieces might be in there and then when that, you're okay, doing that, sure, it might yes. touch your fingers. No doubt. That's no why the doubt. six-fold is too much. But the, okay, well, Sure. And and listen, I'm not saying I've let never. Let me say, let me say, after I've trimmed my butt, my poops are way more manageable. Yeah, no doubt, it's cleaner. It's it certainly it's is. It's like I've Do removed a cheese grater. Do you have to like assume grater. a specific position? Yep. Like on a regular toilet? <laughs> to, no, like oh, to shave. No, it's do you a do terrible, that? terrible experience. Yeah, it's, in it's your clogged well, shower. Of, don't take a razor to it <laughs> ever. I like stand that over the bad. toilet. I have to do weird yoga. Yeah, yeah, it's not a good thing. Yeah, it's it's bad. It's real bad. Like, this is the downfall of being a guy. It's, it's hard to be a guy in America. Because you have to shave your butt? <laughs> All the you don't time. have to, but if you don't want to have, like a, like, a, like, a problem, you know? If you want a wife that I, looks listen, like Jennifer I Aniston. No, no, no. This has, this has nothing to do. My wife does not look at my butthole anymore. <laughs> anymore. anymore. <laughs> Emphasis on anymore. When we first started, we had regular butthole examinations. She had to Get make it sure. over here. She gets out her Monopoly guy monocle. <laughs> She's like, let's see if you're actually marriage you're material. Pastor. <laughs> you're not going to do it or not. <laughs> yeah. You're like, honey. Uh, okay, let's move on. Uh, did you do Great yours? segment, Zach. Oh, did I not? I don't think you did. No, that was my, that was the, that was the one. Oh, the fold. The right, fold. Right, 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 right. Welcome right. to the Sorry. fucking too podcast, many, too, many, too many tangents. <laughs> uh, fuck, we're having fun now, guys. <laughs> this whole in-person <laughs> By the way, recording in person is so butt. fun. We were eating uh, mozzarella bat wings. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, before the episode, Zach goes, yeah, we got some mozzarella wings over there if you want some. Mozzarella and I was like, wings? ah, what? And was I wrong? Yes. I mean, it's big. It's a big. It's a big mozzarella. They were mozzarella sticks. I don't know how we come off of gro- gross, not gross, but we're gonna do it. But it was not gonna eat that last mozzarella wing. I am starving. I couldn't finish mine. Take it. Take, take it. it. Take it. Uh, I, I, I fold. I fold. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't okay. clean my hands. Zach. <laughs> uh, we should have ordered these differently, and by we, I mean me. Uh, because this one's gonna be kind of a come down. I think maybe. Oh God. From from gross or not gross. This is the triple crown. Of band names. This is something I'm actually very passionate about. I love a good band name. And this is totally independent of what we think of the music of the band. This is just purely the band name. And let me add some uh, caveats here. You can't just make up a band name and be like, I love that name. No, it's got to be an existing band. It's got to be a name that you love. And maybe if you have a story for it, that's cool too. Go ahead, Tom. I love the band name Ace of Bass. That's your first pick, I guess. That's my first pick. Okay. Ace of Bass. Why? What? It fucking rhymes. It sounds cool. Okay. And, of course, 
like I was on a roller skating rink the first time I ever heard him. Of, of course you were. Of course I was. Was it I Saw the Sign? Of course it was. They had like three hits. And then there was like the... She's going to mom for how that she wants. Here's another baby. baby. She's She's going going to mom for how that she wants. So here's the question with that song, though. What? She's just going tomorrow for another baby. Hey, anyone Mm -hmm. I run into could be giving me this baby today. I don't know the rest of the lyrics, so maybe maybe she explains it. (laughs) Quick interjection. Remember (laughs) earlier in the the evening when we were talking about peeing with your hands above your head? Mm -hmm. Go on. I just touched my eye, and it hurts. (laughs) So uh, is it because we were folding with our same folding fingers, and then you touch your eye, and now I you think have a pink I, eye? Because I, I, I haven't wiped since my the 90s. <laughs> <laughs> I think I... I, I, I clean my hands in the 90s. <laughs> I think I touched my eye with my buffalo wing eating finger. Oh, yeah, you fucked up. Good it's thing we didn't fine, get the spicy though. wings. Now, it's imagine fine. touching your, your your little hoo-hoo with the, an even hotter, hotter <laughs> wing. It's like an itch. A much hotter wing. Oh, it's like a little burn that you want to touch, but you know it'll just make it worse. Your whole eye is getting inflamed right now. Listen, it's not like we're recording this or anything. Yeah. Um, All right, so Ace of Base is mine. Ace of Base. I Googled this. Wow. Um, just now, I, wanted... I assume. No, no. These are, s- <laughs> these are screenshots on a camera okay, roll. Thank good, you. Good, okay. good, good, um, good. I just like thought that there had to be more clever names out there than the ones that I knew. Yeah. Um, there's a band called We Butter the Bread with Butter. Mm-mm. Okay. I like that. Okay. I, I won't add the caveat that this has to be a band that you're familiar with because that would make it too fun. Um, okay. <laughs> Never heard of them. One <laughs> thing. Nobody. Okay, here. Okay, I got one. Um, one thing I always Just thought was twice. fun. <laughs> well, you just vetoed my first one. Um, one thing I've always thought was fun that I remember from like MTV back in the day um, has nothing to do with the band name, but in terms of names being fun, ZZ Top. Sure, I love um, it. The guys in that both have those, like Job is saying, ZZ Tom. rad beards, oh, yeah. except for the drummer who has no beard and his last name is Beard. Interesting. That's cool. The only that's one cool. in the that's band cool whose last name is Beard doesn't have the beard. That's a, um, that is that's a trivia. tidbit from MTV back in the day that I never have had leave my brain. I dig it. Does the I name Matt Pinfield do anything for you guys? No. Does it like 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 where like does it do anything? <laughs> where does it do where does the Matt Pinfield <laughs> like your body? To be, no, it doesn't do anything for me at all. No. He was like one of their ZJs, VJs, whatever, like one of their on-air personalities. And they used to do a segment where they'd be like, "All right, how many bands can you name that start with the letter B?" And he would like in like a thirty he's second span, he would just spit off like a hundred names. Is like so he's like a, he's, he's like an Rain encyclopedia. Man. He's yeah, Rain he's Rain Man. Awesome. He's Rain Man of music. I, think I wish still, I knew a Rain Man. You can know Matt Pinfield if you try real hard. Does he have Instagram? Probably. Sick. Uh, okay. <laughs> Who's yours? I'm going to go with, and I actually don't know any of their music, but I remember the band because of their name. I think they were popular like 10 years ago. We were promised Jetpacks. We <laughs> were promised Jetpacks! That's a great name. It is a great we name. were promised Jetpacks. We never Honestly, got fucking Jetpacks. Where are they? <laughs> yeah, fucking bullshit. I'm we only have their... like water Jetpacks where like if we crash, we don't die. And that leads us to <laughs> giveaway number four. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna... Do they have any hit songs Let's go with whatsoever. their discography. The most recent album, 2018. They're still kind of relevant. 20, they had a 25 top wherever SCO is it. What is that? In Where's Scotland. SC- Scotland. They had a 20. Is that where they're from? They almost broke the 150 mark in the U.S. <laughs> oh, almost. In uh, the pit of the stomach. Yeah. Yeah, well, they tried. This was back when I listened to, like, emo. whatever Pitchfork was telling emo. me to follow. Emo. I did do emo as well. I did emo. Yeah, everyone did a little yeah. emo. I, I did emo in the yeah, 90s. Did, in the 90s? No one did emo in the 90s. I think, like, Dashboard too- Confessional could have yeah, scraped that's, that's 1999. Late, that's early 2000s. That's okay. like dashboard. I mean, maybe they were like underground in the ni- late '90s, but like there was still like I used ska to... and like like alternative in the '90s yeah. and shit like that. I used to love Dashboard Confessional, which is I an embarrassing. St- they were the opener they of the OC, oh. the TV show. The uh, yeah, not the same <laughs> no, place no, no, we were going no, there. No, no, the, no, I'm saying that the because, TV show, the OC. Yeah. They played hands down in the opener, and it was just like uh, Chad. Uh, that was the name? song that Chad, I hated the most of theirs. <laughs> Chad <laughs> Michael Murray is that the guy's name? It's, yeah. Chad Michael Murray. I, no, Chad really, Michael Murray's that an blonde actor. guy. Yeah, yeah, Chad yeah. Chad Michael yeah, Murray yeah. was so a different was show. The, I think that was The Hills. Yes, that's what I meant to say. One Tree Hill. One was Tree Hill was dashboard. filmed on my street in North Carolina. I dashboard lived. Confessional. Are you cheating on Pennsylvania? Was One Tree Hill, yes. and that was where <laughs> Chad <laughs> Michael Murray. 
was okay. Dashboard Confessional. Hands right. down was the song. So are we all just doing one round of that? Is that it? Uh, we're doing, no, doing Snake Draft. Oh, yeah, you yeah, three. We, triple we crown. Triple crown. Triple crown. Triple crown. Triple crown. Triple crown. Yes. Okay. okay. So I'll go again. Uh, I was okay. the turn. This is actually, this is maybe my favorite band name of all time. I took the other one first because I thought that'd be a nice little yeah. splash or a nice mm-hmm. little kerplunk. Uh, this is a Green Day album. Oh, fuck yeah. Kerplunk was a good album. Uh, I'm going to go with my favorite band name of all time. It is Hoobastank. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, listen, the, I couldn't even pick. Do, what it, was Hoobastank doing? I don't know anything about Hoobastank's music. Oh, my God. They were on a lot of the lists that I found when I did my Google. My brain immediately went to Alien Ant Farm for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, wait, my brain put them Maybe all I'm together. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was Did like, was that Hoobastank? No, it was not. <laughs> Hoobastank was like the next generation Incubus, but like a little harder, maybe, or something. I don't know. Yeah, sounds right. Incubus was the shit. Just the name Hoobastank. Like, somebody thought that that was a good name for their Hoobastank. band. Hoobastank. <laughs> like, this is the thing that we're introducing ourselves as okay. forever. Okay, I'm going to go. I'm gonna, is it my turn? No, it's, yeah, it's, next. it's your turn. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Uh, technically, Chance's, but she yeah, feels she, that's the least ready face I've ever seen. Not- well, now that we've stipulated we got to know them, I'm scrolling through my okay. iTunes. Okay, so um, <laughs> I, I'm going a little bit more old school. Um, there's something about this band name that, like, from a very early age in my childhood, I, like, just recognize as, like, different. And, like, it caught my ear, it caught my eye. The music is the shit. And... It's Creedence Clearwater Revival. Uh, I thought I you were going to say corn. Past them. <laughs> <laughs> corn. <laughs> okay. Candy corns, candy canes, uh, syrup, and no. Uh, Creedence Clearwater Revival, man. Like, that is a name for the, the record books. I mean, even if their music didn't hit, which it did. Oh, God. We're going to get copyright if we do any more than that. Sorry. Okay, cool. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah the shit. And, like, goddamn, they're, like, in, like, all the best fucking movies of all time, yeah. too. What, so what does that even mean? I guess I never... I don't thought, know. Yeah. The strange thing is their music sounds like swamp rock. The, <laughs> their mother... They're all from California. They're mm. they are all from California. Sad story that that uh, the lead singer to Credence, John Fogarty, which went on to have some, some a lot of single hits, he doesn't even own the rights to his own music because his fucking agent totally effed him over. I know nothing about the music industry. I would just assume that most record labels own Fun. the music. No. I mean, I well, it depends Taylor on your Swift's agent. It depends on how like business that. savvy you are as an artist. A lot of a lot of uh, artists get fucked over out of their own music, out of the shit that they write. Mm. Taylor Swift. It's horseshit. Didn't she release a new album, like, and then it's Taylor version for, like, all of the songs? It's her remakes of all her songs that she doesn't have the rights to. But she like changes them a bit, which is like a big like, eh, because like, gray area. is it gonna be different? Is yeah. it gonna be better? Is it gonna make it worse? Mm-hmm. Um, so she I, got fucked out of out of her own music too. Oh, like a shit ton. Yeah, see, they I like, mean, like sold you have it the all. wrong agent that like sells you out in the wrong way, and like um, they're looking to make their money off of you and not l- look out for your best interests. Yeah. Okay, I've got mine, guys. It's a racket. Okay, go. Finally, I'll play you a little clip. Is it Hoobastank? Okay, I'm not going to play any more of that because of the copyright. Uh, it's <laughs> I don't know that song. Rainbow yeah. Kitten Surprise. Oh, I've heard of him. I love that name. <laughs> yeah, that's the whole point of the segment. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Rainbow Kitten Surprise. It's wonderful. I feel like that fits you perfectly. Like I can see that on your lunchbox as you're walking into It's kind of a sad song. It sounds sad. Uh, it sounds like whoever writes for them is sad. Which is Rainbow not, Kitten Surprise? It's uh, not a sad name. That's like a name that is like Rainbow person, Sprinkles and personifies. The psychology behind who the person is that picks that name feels like a They're person. They're compensating. Would be yeah, yeah, big time. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. in actuality, it's like Elliot Smith music. Yeah. I liked Elliot Smith. <laughs> He's who, good. By the way, ended up killing himself. It's, I think when you have really sad music, that's the only way yeah. that it can end. Uh, and rest in peace, great music. Yeah. Great. Elliot Smith yeah. was a good musician. All right, so... Uh, Chance, you're on the turn here. Yeah. Oh, oh, lucky me. Um, <laughs> and if you're not ready, I got one. I actually did prepare so I've I can go if somebody needs to fill Speaking, by the way, so mine goes many. right off the back of the thing I go, just said. Go, take it, take it, take Can't it. kill yourself. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> Does anyone know can't kill yourself? Is that no. metal? It sounds like, like death metal. It's like hard, alternative, almost metal, but like screamo. Now, if you like the the show <laughs> Jackass, which I assume you guys have seen or heard of Jackass. I'm more of a CKY yes. guy, but... That's Can't Kill Yourself. Oh, no shit. And that's Bam's brother's band. 
Boom! Damn. That, all right. That's yeah. Wild. That's wild. CKY, CKY2K, CK3, CK, or CKY3, CKY4. Ah. Uh, Can't Kill Yourself is the band of Bam's brother. You just judo chopped me into saying the acronym. I like CKY the- better. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> that is a- Zach's an actual moron. <laughs> <laughs> I would have never put that together. Yeah, I would have never put yourself. that together. Yeah. All right. Had to say it after Elliot Smith. Do you want me to go? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. I've got mine. Go ahead. Um, another one for my iTunes, uh, Apple Music, because I don't have Spotify. <laughs> but By the way, Can't Kill Yourself, CKY, Westchester, PA, just down the road from me. Huh. There you go. I knew there was a Pennsylvania oh, reference yeah. in there somewhere. I knew okay, it was sorry, Shots. Go ahead. Why are your songs always so sad? Well, this one's just getting started. Back to camp. They're Kill testing yourself. their guitars. <laughs> They're testing their guitars. Are it they, gets exciting. Are they taking it a new entrance? Hold I can't on. <laughs> Okay. See, that's got an exciting well, yeah, trajectory right. for it. I like the fiddle going. Um, it's Trampled by Turtles. Oh, I like Trampled by Turtles. Great. But it's like, great. when you think about it, when are you going to get Trampled by Turtles? I mean, it depends when, on if you're the turtles. And have like, you when they're... The, have you <laughs> ever seen Ninja the turtle? movie Never Ending Story? There's a giant turtle in that movie. Never even that's heard of it. it. trample your balls off. <laughs> Never heard of the movie. What? And, like, just think about them in a room. Like, let's think of a band name, guys. Hold and they're on. like, all right, we got to be trampled by something. What's it most likely to be? Shots. Yep. yep. You've yep. never heard of the movie The Never Ending Story? No. You... Is this a, a common movie? This might be like a generational thing. I mean, it has to be clearly, but like. What the fuck is um, that big dog? It's it's the it's the nothing. Yeah. It's not a big dog. It's a wolf. It's is an it actual wolf? wolf. Yeah. Oh, not, you guys are saying something big, from the movie. But it's not like this huge wolf. It's like a wolf that's it's called the. No, uh, the oh wait, no, wait, 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 wait no, no, I'm sorry. The nothing is not the wolf. No the spoilers. The nothing is the is the messenger. I'm sorry. The wolf is the messenger of the nothing. What is the? Oh, it's gonna drive me crazy. I'm gonna look it up. I'm, but shots, continue on your trim by turtle situations. Go on, go on, go on. <laughs> hey, that was it. If we're stalling, um, I was just thinking no, his about name is Falcor. how that's not a wolf. That's when a they dragon. think about, I know, but I said the you know, giant let's dog. make a band name and what okay. should we make oh, wait, it? We, I was, um, I tuned out. Were we talking about a wolf? It's a luck. What dragon. animal would trample you? It's not Turtle, an actual dog. Maybe. It's a dragon. I tuned in when you we were really talking about Neverending Story. You could really get by a lot of other things instead. The wolf's name in Neverending Story was Gamort. Regular yeah. buffalo. Okay, fuck Elephant. Me. Anyways. Okay. Uh, How you doing, Leah? Bison. Enjoying this? <laughs> 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 I think we're having three separate conversations right now. Are we? New podcast history. This is amazing. New it's today. good to be back, everybody. Yeah. If we can bring it back together, it'll be like acapella okay. in three okay. different rooms. Yeah, so, what's next? so, Zach, you have one last uh, one. My last one, yes. Uh, shit. I hate how mainstream this is. I'm actually torn between two. You know what? I'm going to throw a curveball. Give them both. Because I think we were doing a parody on this, like the entire stretch from Hearts Pass all the way to Canada. I love third wheeling, you guys. Gnarls Barkley. Oh yeah. So you wait. You that's a great. That's a good. That's a good name. Yeah. Because uh, Gnarls. I mean, yeah. That's catchy. It like you catches your ear immediately. And you're like Gnarls Barkley. What's his real name? Uh, it's, it's, it's is it Niles? Charles Narkley. <laughs> so, <laughs> I don't believe it. Is, it is a play on words for Char- Charles Barkley was a basketball player, but uh, CeeLo Green was that who? Yeah. 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 Uh, it, the the song I think was it Charles was it Gnarls Barkley or was this a solo one? Does that make me crazy? Is this? Uh, is my, <laughs> yeah, 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 you can't, you can't, you can't, you can't. But now you know what I'm talking well, about. You should have brought it up because now nobody can enjoy it with us. I have no idea what's happening. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it is Gnarls Barkley. Sweet. Yeah, All right. you were right. Glad I... Yeah, at least you got that part right. <laughs> Why the song? This is by Gnarls Barkley? Yeah. All right. Huh. So, yeah, that's my last I like piece. that song. It's a great song. It was a hit. Yeah. And it is mainstream, but also, who cares? Yeah, who gives Not a mainstream who gives enough where we know who wrote it, apparently. Yeah. You didn't. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so that did everyone win. get their three in? Everyone got yeah, their three. Yeah, we did. Any so, yeah. any quick honorable mentions? Rapid fire. Um, I, ZZ I, Top was I my mean, honorable if I, mention. If I if I went down the Google route that Chance did, I could sure for one it. of the three, <laughs> and I corrected it. I want to hear one. it. <laughs> <laughs> I have two quick ones. The other one that I was torn between was Panic at the Disco, only because it was 
Panic exclamation point at the disco. I listened to Panic at the Disco on our PCT hike through. <laughs> remember when we left? What was that place where you were like, I was. I got to the place right like a few hours after you left, but it was like the desert stretch going into Lassen. What was that place we stopped at? Oh, the like the religious the, the, hostel, yeah, the ranch, uh, big lake youth ranch. camp. No, 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 no. 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 That was a religious that. one. Way for the Belden. South no. Lesson. It was just. It was just. It would have been they Chester. Were, they, have, they have like a giant cross in their backyard. Yeah, and you go in there, and they're they have like their own little resupply. Oh, it was probably it was Chester. It was the, you guys probably. It's south of Chester. Because yes. there was a church in Chester that people stayed at. No, no, there. south on the trail. South on the trail. Between from Lassen there. and what was between Lassen and Chester? It's just north of it's just north of Lassen. So Chester? after you left, uh, after you left Lassen, what was that weird little? It was like a Texan couple. old station. Yeah. No, it's north of that. Where That's in Lassen still almost. Lassen. Anyways, point being, on that stretch, I remember listening to Panic at the Disco. Nice. <laughs> and enough? I didn't catch you until we got the Tahoe. That guy does have like a very distinct voice. You can't take that away from he, him. You know what it is? It's like a... It's like a um, what was the other band that's like them that came out just before them? They got big with with a, the, the guy was dating Ashley Simpson. Pete Wentz is in the band. Speaking of Pete Wentz, come on! I don't know. Anyone? I, I know can't who do Pete it. Wentz is. He's like the drummer from the band. I know exactly well, it, what you're talking about. I just can't put my finger the, on it. What band? Fallout Boy. Uh, Fall, yeah, so yeah, 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 this yeah, goes yeah, a poor yeah, man's yeah, yeah. Fallout Boy. Sure, sure, definitely. Sure, 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 sure. Um, yeah, yeah. while you have the Google open, Good Charlotte. Apparently, yeah. it's two brothers. S- same brand. Apparently, they're married to like some pretty high name, like '90s celebs, like Cameron Diaz and another. Good Charlotte wives. Like Let's they, see where this they, takes us. They, they, I see Cameron Diaz and <laughs> Nicole oh, Richie. Yeah, Nicole they actually Ryan. did really well for themselves. Talking about like making it as a band, Good Charlotte. Honorable mention. They set an entire what like fashion trend with the, the married to yeah, exactly. Cameron Diaz yeah. and yeah. Nicole Richie. Right. What are <laughs> for the six people that are still listening, for the sole reason of just getting the last entry method. What are episodes? We can fucking do whatever we want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, this is a Java segment. I'm excited for this one. Oh, me- yes. Go okay, ahead, introduce okay, it. Okay, introduce, okay. You know, I it saw not the that part it needs about a, drinking, and I guess I'll needs, top up. Yeah, not that it needs a lot of introduction. I think this one, most right. people have played this game. How but. do you want to do it? Like another snake draft situation? You have to first introduce it. Okay, well, the pot, uh, the, ep- I'm sorry, the segment, <laughs> the podcast is called Backward Raider. Uh, this is, uh, the a is long distance hiking guide and- for family and friends. <laughs> <laughs> oh god all right so if you're not familiar with this phrase never have i ever let me break it down for you when you were like we a 17 we 16 yeah. 15 year old kid even in your early 20s you're playing drinking games um you know it was uh there was like a you could play like uh, any number of games that had a category call uh, or you pull a card and you'd say never have i ever and it was all about saying never have i ever done Whatever it is that you want to say that, y- y- like, never have I ever, um, like, shit my pants. Shit my pants. Yeah, sure. We'll just say shit my pants. And anyone around the table would have to drink <laughs> if they have shit their pants. All right. So if you've done that thing that they say, you have to drink. Yeah. All right. And so, so it's basically like a moment of truth. Like you just you just lift your you just lift your beer and say it. And you're like ah shit. It's, I, it's a confessional yeah, in the most alcoholic Thank way. You. Thank you. On the girl much. side of this. There used to be a version of it that, like, we'd, like, toss... And they can get crazy. They can get crazy. There used to be a <laughs> version of this that we'd toss shade at each other with, where it would be, we'd call the game Never Have I Ever, Oh Wait, Yes I Have, for, like, the girls that are like, Never Have I Ever, Oh Wait, Yes I Have, because they just, like, want people <laughs> to mean, know they've done something. Yeah, 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 so we used sure. to be like, oh, yeah, let's play Never Have I Ever, Oh Wait, Yes I Have. <laughs> this so, is me bragging at this point. <laughs> so so this is this is backpacking-oriented, okay? We're going to get gonna back actually, to backpacking. You're going to stay to the theme? Tr- Chance is bringing up a point should you not bring up a subject of a thing that you've done well i went i i kind of all these things i have done okay so i will drink for all these things okay i feel like i also feel like you've also done everything everything. (laughs) that's never have i ever oh wait yes i have is you've done them and you're saying them anyway to see who else has done them like like put together any combination of like verbs and nouns, and Job has done that. No, thing. the people that the never have I ever. Oh yes, I, I have. People are the that. ones that don't have any never have I ever's left. So then they go into never have I ever. Oh wait, yes I have. Yeah, but it's not fair for him because he's literally done 
like everything that's what they say for never have I ever oh wait yes I have I should start writing it down (laughs) (laughs) oh my god I can't believe I've never done this (laughs) and writing it down and bringing it to the podcast (laughs) alright so uh, my first one all right. Wait, I, so, wait, uh, sorry. Oh We're saying <laughs> things we have done? No, I'm saying... You can pick anything. You can so, pick anything. So you can pick something you either have or you haven't done. It doesn't matter. But oh, something okay. you think, uh, like, is outlandish that people would have to drink for. Okay. Or, or confess to, whatever, however you want to look at it. Got it. If you don't drink, you don't got to drink, obviously, but, like, it's just... You should drink. Let's have some fun. Grab a <laughs> spin drift if you have to. All right, yeah, of course. All right, so my first one is never have I ever peed in my drinking receptacle and then also drank out of it. Yeah. Not saying you drank out of it while there's pee in it. I'm saying not necessarily oh. like Wait, you action. said these are all things you've done? Uh-huh. <laughs> wait, wait, wait a second. You've also drank your own pee. I have done that. <laughs> <laughs> so you but, added okay. the caveat that like... Let me you like how this could happen for yeah. a, a backpacker. Okay. You're in your tent, okay? You're either A... Too lazy to get out of your tent in the middle of the night, or B, it's fucking pouring rain now, or snowing, yeah. or freezing, whatever the case may be, and you have one of your empty drinking oh, receptacles. No. I know the pee bottle. Like the I pee mean, bottle, I'm all for. Obviously, it's harder for a girl. No, 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 no. Wee. I've lived at a maker for a long time. I okay. had a Gatorade okay. bottle. Okay, okay. Cool. I've mastered. You can do it without a shiwi. I've you mastered. You just jam it up there. No, you don't. Here's the thing: is you can't. <laughs> no, actually, this is important. You can't. <laughs> Jam it. Okay, there needs fine. to be. You know how, like, when you go to you fill know something, what your perfect. If like, there's no, if no, 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 no. if there's yes. no gap for air to get out, then, it'll then the water back. can't go in. Yeah, 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 yeah. So Pressure. when you you cannot Smart. jam it, this you actually awesome. have to gently this place. Is awesome. <laughs> you have to you gently. <laughs> you have to gently place it and almost take it so a it little hum, to the side. So you're hovering right above the lip. Let's so it's kind of like when you're doing the Sawyer squeeze with the smart water bottle, you have to like release the pressure. Gently place. It's a similar pressure concept. Not same meditation. Gently <laughs> place. Gently it onward. Does your and Sawyer squeeze And then just squirt? tilt aside yeah, so that yeah. you get the airflow yeah. on the side. And then you can just go. What percentage cool, 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 cool. of urine do you miss doing None. that? None. You're that good? Unless I'm, I'm, you don't. Unless you go. You know, pedal to the metal. You yeah. gotta give. Chance, I applaud you for like getting to that point of. You gotta, trying. you gotta miss a lot. You gotta miss yeah. a lot. No, I, I know. <laughs> I get it. I, trust me. Even listen. Even in the middle of the night, like, uh, like I'll like whatever. If I'm too lazy to get out of my tent or it's pouring rain out, like, you can fuck up. Like even with a dick. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So back back to the game. Even with a gun, <laughs> he gun. <laughs> it sounds like you're the only one that should be drinking here. Did Why you... she? You never. No, Anyone? no, 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 you lost me at the drinking out of it again part. Okay, okay, so... I don't so repurpose the you bottle. You rinse it with water, but then you still have to use it later because, like, you're in the mm. desert. Maybe. I feel like we're going full circle with my soaps. I'm going to go back to gross. <laughs> Three, two, one, gross. Wait, this isn't a gross. It's just, have you done it? <laughs> no, 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 gross. I, all right, I guess I'm drinking. If you, give, if you give it, like, three full rinses, I'm okay with it. It's, it's just... There, it's... You're going to wash what your What do you face? mean? It's, it's water. You're not using soap. Fuck you, yeah. I mean... <laughs> There's electrolytes, adds a little flavor. <laughs> but I will say, I don't even think I've ever peed into a pee bottle in my life. This goes, back, this goes back to the having a really good bladder thing. And yeah. a roof over your head, apparently. No. <laughs> I've, I've slept outside a night or two in my life. If you're in a car and You've you're parked in like a like, neighborhood oh God, and it's like, go I don't know so whose bad. house I'm parked next to, I don't want them to wake up to me peeing in their shrubs. I also took a dump underneath a pine tree outside of a Taco Bell because I also lack shame. So that <laughs> factors into the I mean, I, I've, I've, I've pooped on the shoulder <laughs> of a interstate. That's incredible. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, okay, so just real quick aside very quick when i was in iraq uh my first tour uh especially um y- you because, because of our uh, artillery <laughs> incoming mortar fire um at our base we couldn't leave like our, our piss trenches our piss tubes that go into the earth um we didn't have like toilets we didn't like none of that kind of stuff existed at my at my combat ford uh, i'm sorry my ford operating base we had to put on all our armor to go outside. Kevlar, flak jacket, the whole bit, boots. In the middle of the night, or in the middle of your sleep cycle, which sometimes is in the middle of the day, you don't want to do that. So what you do is you pee in a bottle in your in your rack. All right. Do you have so, an equivalent of like the dick flap? What do you mean a like dick in your flap? Tent where you can just unzip There's and no tent. We were flap like it in, out. Like, 
like a I don't know what you're like in five bunks that we made out of two by fours and plywood and shit. Uh. Um, but anyways, point being, I had so many piss bottles just stacking up that I knew like there was like one that was like a month old. Yeah. That like and like the, 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 so there was a. Spectrum. Is there a reason you don't dump it at any point? Like, do you do any, eventually. Does anyone see them? them? Do people see them uh, lined hopefully up? Not. <laughs> like where are they lined up? I mean, that none of these not allowed are... to be doing this, but everybody does it. Do but you hear them he... in the night? Do you hear like? Nobody gives a shit. It's war. That's like... not the question. Is do you? I just want to know if you hear it. If you're like, sigh, I know what that. Oh my do. god, you're pissing! Oh no, no, no! You're jerking off. <laughs> 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 yeah, it's like whatever. Noises are happening. <laughs> okay. Whatever. But so so there was a spectrum. Nobody of color. gives a shit. It's war. That's a pretty hard <laughs> statement. I know. There. <laughs> okay. Uh, so. So there was a spectrum of color, and it wasn't just color. It was, like, milky. Like, the oldest ones were the milkiest, cloudiest ones. <laughs> Ew. And trust me, when you go to dump those suckers out, the oldest ones, that smell will knock a cow out. Do okay, you, wait, do you I have like another question vintages? here. <laughs> Why are you dumping them out at that point? Wouldn't it make sense to throw the entire bottle Efficiency? lid on out? No, no, because the plastic has to get melted. Because we put it in the burn pit. You can't put a fucking piss bottle in a burn pit. You got to dump the piss out down the piss tube, then go over to the burn pit and chuck everything in the burn pit. What's a burn pit? It's a pit where everything gets burned because you don't have recycling or trash. Because you're in Iraq. <laughs> I feel like there's a Which lot I, I should know before having this conversation. <laughs> so it's, also burn shit with there's a lot fuel, of insider so, you know. is the, knowledge. Is the here collection I don't of know. piss bottles is that like everyone's doing that in the barracks? Or just no one talking about it? Everybody knows that everybody's got piss bottles. Yeah. yeah. Where do you put and you don't them? Get that... caught with them because the higher ups say don't do that, but everybody's in their combat like schedule and like there's no time for. Where do you yeah. put them that no one finds them? Like under your bed or like under. Like you just. Wait, so, so, so when I think of the bunks, military, I think if of you're them in bunks, like. Are you putting it like between the frame and the yeah. mattress? There, I didn't have a mattress. I had like a. Th- so. It it varied. It varied. It depended like on how like Don't they you do... throw it in your sea bag, which is a big duffel, and you just wait for the proper time to pull it out. And, Damn. Yeah. Don't they like check your stuff? Like aren't there like little things where they come in not and like in make sure your not in war. bed's tight and Nope. Not in war. <laughs> We're not no, that's, that's like, like the back on base. Portion. That's like back in like you know, the main base in the US where everything is white glove, like cleanliness. That's yeah, that's what my mind that's goes to. That's on base. That's on base in like real like in non war times. War times are totally different. Okay, so There's what's so next? Much I don't that was the first never have I ever. <laughs> <laughs> Piss bottle spectrum, okay. milky okay. to not milky. Okay, I'm gonna change it up. I'm gonna do. Well, I'm not gonna say if I've done it or if I haven't done it. I just do you gave text it away. yourself. Yeah, these are my notes. Okay, I have to like do it as I think of it. Otherwise, I, gotcha. I lose it I'm forever. I have Swiss cheese brain. Yeah. Okay. No, I've done this one. Uh, Never have I ever waited as I have. Hell <laughs> yeah! No, no, no. Actually, no. I'm not. I'm not going to do it because it's too specific. No one can relate to this. God, you're so. You're you're so okay, like okay, everyone okay, else. Okay, okay, okay. Never have I ever gotten lost on the Appalachian Trail. Mm. I will drink only because I was on mushrooms. <laughs> you didn't specify how lost. I was never actually like worried lost. There's just like a good number of switchbacks that I didn't realize were switchbacks until it was like, the leaves are crunching a lot more than usual, and I am stepping on some twigs more than usual. You got mushrooms too? (laughs) No, you ever like, you just keep walking and you don't realize that the switchback switched back, and you're just like, cool. Oh my God. And then it's just like, oh, it's getting a little more rugged. (laughs) That's not lost, because you weren't like lost laws, right? Well, sometimes you pull out gun hooks and you're like, okay, which way do I go back? So okay, we didn't so have that luxury in like there was Okay, there was one spot. It was before the priest, but close to the priest, where there was a switchback that I could not find, and I made my way to this giant rock and then realized that I must have been going the wrong way because it was just, like, too, like, I was stepping over too many things at that point. And <laughs> I went back, and I still couldn't find where the switchback was supposed to turn, and I eventually got to the point where I had to pull out gut hooks and just, like, as if I was walking on snow, just, like, glue my face to it because I just – Really could not find the switch back on my own. It, it's funny because I thought when I when you said that I thought of my first Appalachian Trail through hike, but I totally forgot Your that I hiked hike. in winter. <laughs> <laughs> you were lost the entire time. I was lost often. Uh, yeah, yeah. There, there were times where it was like weird, very weird. I got lost like three 
memorable times. This is a decade ago, so I'm sure it was way more than that. But I think potentially the funniest story, Pennsylvania. Uh, I had You're welcome. To, yeah, I had. I started the day with a couple of guys that I'd been hiking with for a while. Chance is drunk. No, it's, it's, the is, microphone it's, is top it's, heavy. It's the cord. It's the cord is weighing it down. The cord got heavy all of a sudden. Uh, Pennsylvania. So I'm going to do a demonstration on my hand here so I get a little bit of sympathy. Otherwise, I'm going to sound dumber than I am. But the trail did a turn. This was the exact moment where I realized I had like an emergency dump brewing, so I like veered <laughs> off here. But I had to go quite a ways to like get to a place that was dump safe, right? So I do it. Dump safe. Dump safe. <laughs> dump safe. I do my business. I come back to the trail. Let me reiterate. I had started the day with a couple of my trail buddies. I left camp at least a couple hours before them. Like I was really gung ho on doing big miles that day. Uh, I'm hiking for close to an hour. And then I see them, and they're hype. They're hiking in the opposite direction of me. I'm like, <laughs> oh my god! First of all, that's amazing. Uh, did, did you guys Which do? Way? Are you guys slackbacking right now? <laughs> they're like, what are you talking about? <laughs> like, How did you get ahead of me? And why are you going the wrong way? They're like, that is amazing. We're not going the wrong way. <laughs> it took me like a minute. I'm like. Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> that's amazing. I've never experienced anything like that, yeah. and I, that's that's a uh, that's all timer. That's yeah. like that's like saying I prefer CKY. <laughs> <laughs> my, I can't my dumbness imagine knows no bounds. how mad you were. <laughs> I was really mad. Like they laughed at me for about five minutes straight. I would have laughed at you for like five weeks straight. <laughs> I had. I had a similar situation, but I was on the winning side of it. So there was this one spot in, it was past New York, but it wasn't like in New England. It was like, it must have been in Connecticut. It, <laughs> was in, it was in England. Um, it must have been awesome. Connecticut. There was, I can remember the stretch of trail perfectly. It just went straight. And no, you no, just went me, straight. But <laughs> that's how I got lost. Too. That's, <laughs> but here's the, this is the kicker. Too easy. This is the catch, guys. The it stretch. didn't actually go straight. It switched back downhill. <laughs> and so I'm walking straight, and I just keep fucking going straight where the trail goes. And eventually, just like you, I see the guy coming the opposite direction. And I'm like, Ziploc, did you forget something? And he's like... No, this is a fucking blue blaze. It's two miles long. I just got to the end and turned around. <laughs> and I was like, oh, shit. And I had just started it. I missed the switchback and just went on the blue blaze. And he was saying the other girl we were hiking with, it was also like it passed him a while back. It was like all the way down. Like they passed each other on the way back. Um, and so she eventually passed me like at, I don't know what time it was that she eventually passed me, but she was furious too. They both were so mad. And it was the the like – Point one into it for me, where I had just missed the turnoff, oh. and so they told point me. One. So I turned right back around. I was like, "Cool, nice switch." I feel like if they I were had, so mad. I feel like <laughs> I was running into my hiking partners going the other way, and I could like see them at least far enough away that I'm like, I think I would realize that like I'm the idiot, and I'd be like, "I'm hiding." But I wasn't. It was one instance. I'm gonna jump I'm off gonna the trail this pond. pond. Wait for the <laughs> smear jump pieces on my face. <laughs> <laughs> Walk by Push your belly button. Them and scare the fuck out of them. <laughs> hey guys, I'm here to scare the shit out of you. Oh no, I didn't go the wrong way. What are you talking about? You guys are dumb. Yeah, it's you, it's you crazy on my yes, hike. I'm covered in feces. I turned the wrong way and Jabba jumped out of a bush with feces all over his face. Uh, yeah, it was wild. Just, just my ammo. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it was warm. you guys both did one, right? Yeah. All right, my next one. If we're gonna continue, yeah, um, I it didn't. I didn't. You didn't? No, I didn't. I felt like I did. I felt like I did. I like when you told that story, you walked point one in the wrong direction as lost. But um, I, I did. It kind of felt like yeah. Okay, then go on. I don't have one. You don't have one? All right. <laughs> she made a big scene um, about no, you skipping my turn. No, I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll think of one. Uh, okay, um, okay, never okay, have okay, I okay, ever okay, backpacking okay. related... Oh, shit. All right, so um, <laughs> no, never please. have I ever camped illegally or done something illegally in a national park unintentionally but had to given the circumstances. This sounds a lot like something you've definitely done. <laughs> I don't know how else to form that in an easier way. All I'm saying is we know the rules in national parks. Have you ever done something outside those rules because you had to given the circumstances? 
I feel like probably, but I can't mm. actually think of any examples. So, first of all, drink and then give us your story. If there was, if it was like a broader, <laughs> if it was like a hike long, I got many. <laughs> I got a lot, but not, to, but not like because I, but not because I was out to do it. You know what I no, mean? Like it, some people are like, oh, I'm not doing whatever these stipulations are because fuck national you ha- parks. You added the caveat that you had to do it because circumstances yeah, required. Yeah, because like, oh well, I broke the rule. Well. There's 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 two ways of, of going about this. Is like there's the way you did it and you didn't get caught, and there's the way you did it and you did oh, get caught. Oh, I have one. I have one, okay. and it's gonna get me a Let's lot of it. shit. Let's well, go. first of all, drink. Yep. Cheers. Zach, by the way, you have to drink too, because you're not allowed to sleep in a fucking shelter or in a in a shitter. Uh, and we were in we were in a national park. Well, actually, no, no, it's Kearsarge Park. park I we're, guess that Onion Valley Trailhead That's is outside of the park. bounds right. of the national the, the, park. The, but I'll drink because I like the, the taste pass. Of alcohol. Is the national park? You are correct. Good point. Okay. Oh wait, did we sleep at Muir Pass? No. Oh damn it. We were there. I right. gotta drink for that one. <laughs> <laughs> That's not the one I was gonna drink for anyway. <laughs> so mine goes back to pre long distance hiking days. Mine goes back to about, I'm going to say 2015 was the year. Um, I was uh, a senior in backpacking at that point. Well, the cool, (laughs) here's the cool thing is before you start long distance backpacking, you don't really know leave my trace to, or leave my trace. (laughs) Leave my (laughs) trace. trace. Leave no trace. Leave my trace. (laughs) I'm leaving my trace. <laughs> hey guys, don't forget to LMT. <laughs> Did you see my well, trace? Yours too. <laughs> Did you guys catch my trace left back there? <laughs> I totally left my trace back don't there. Don't forget to leave my trace. <laughs> <laughs> Follow my trace. <laughs> Hashtag. This is why alcohol is good. <laughs> my get my trace at Juliana Conti. <laughs> my trace.co. Like. Comment and subscribe at mytrace.co. Um, anyway, you don't really know leave no trace to the point. Um. <laughs> All right. What is happening right now? The right year there? is 2015. <laughs> leave my trace is a thing. Honestly, leave my trace kind of sounds fun. Um, so the point is... <laughs> Before you like really get into the outdoor world, like things like leave no trace might elude you. Yeah. Um agreed. similarly to like things like the importance of permit systems and all of sure. that. Yeah. And this technically isn't breaking a rule, which is well, no, it technically it, it technically is breaking <laughs> a rule. Is. It's very, very on the line, but definitely should not be replicated by any listener. So I'm gonna go ahead and say that and also, that I just <laughs> <laughs> left my trace. <laughs> There's a trace um, in her trachea. Uh, uh, here comes a trace. <laughs> <laughs> I, I feel bullied. <laughs> and rightly so. And self-conscious. <laughs> That's because we're bullying you. Um, so, my point is more so that, like, What'd you do? I'm not, Tell us what you did. I'm not there yet. I'm just giving the disclaimer against all the hate I'm going to get, which is just that you no sometimes one's listening don't at this point. Know. Don't worry. We've taken care of that. <laughs> Someone and you should like, always heard. follow no the listening. permit yeah. system. If a leave my trace falls in the woods and there's no one there to hear it. <laughs> <laughs> I am ignoring my in-person audience right now because I know my listening audience is not at the level that the in-person audience is. No, there's is. less of the listening and audience guys than the in-person audience. There's more of us than there are of them. My point is just don't <laughs> listen to this and do it because then, like, it's not great. But basically, this isn't even, like, we've, 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 we've oh now built God. this up to a story that is not even going to be that good. No. It wasn't that good to start. What is happening? Java's checking like, his watch. It's not even a watch. It's been, like, 15 what? minutes of, like, a build Wait, up to a there? terrible story. That doesn't have a time on it? No. <laughs> It's a whoop. I'm like, what the fuck is a whoop? Wait, that's it's a the watch Philly that doesn't football tell time. uses, right? <laughs> it's yeah. not even a Fitbit. <laughs> it's it's actually a very sophisticated device. We're it gonna give a actually, free ad since nobody's is, listening. It, uh, it uh, measures your heart rate. Did we ever get to what you were talking yeah, about? Yeah, let's just do a thing. Let's just Honestly, do a thing. Honestly, like it's not that great of a story. <laughs> okay. All right. I'll tell it, but like it's not that great of Can a story. Can we get the Cliff's Notes version at least? <laughs> okay. Because the buildup has been Something. It's been Bottom too much. <laughs> My story will never live up to it. Okay. 
2015, we wanted to hike Half Dome, and we got denied for the permits, and we were given advice from a person that was doing search and rescue in the area that you don't need a permit to go to the sub dome. You only need a permit to go past the sub dome, but most people will quit before they get there anyway. So we just hiked to the sub dome and then just kept asking people if they had space on their permits for people that quitted. And then we ended up getting to the top of half dome that way, even though we got denied. Is um, that technically like if you can, it's technically quit. It's technically. Okay. So the stipulation is you have to stay with your party the whole time because yeah. every time they check, you have to be with them, but they should be putting down the names of everyone in their party on their permit. Got it. The reason why I'm so emph- emphasizing, like, don't do this a, because it, it like, you really shouldn't do that because if you get to that point and you want to do it anyway, chances are you're probably going to, but mostly because um, you could go all the way to the sub dome, which is like a really fucking bitch of a hike, and then no one has room on their permits, and then like you can't go to the top. And we did that knowing full well we might not go to the top this day. But it was like, go to this point or don't go at all. So we were like, we're going to go to that point because it's better than not going at all. And then we all got lucky. It was a group of six of us, and we split up into three groups of two to make it work. Um... But, like, I highly don't recommend it because you can do an absolute fuck ton of work to get there. And it was a very strenuous height. And then, like, not even get to the top. So that segment was Chance Incriminates Herself. Clearly. (laughs) I I, I, I still feel guilt for it today. Really? Yeah. I wouldn't. Yeah. You didn't get fined, right? You didn't get, like, any. No, I I got away with it. Have you ever been fined by a a National Park Ranger before? No, I've never done anything wrong. I know your story, but. (laughs) Do you want to share your story? I'm about to. Okay, Is let's go for it. So I haven't told this story, I don't think, uh, at least on your open air channels. If I, if I haven't. No, you've told this to me. And I, I have never told anyone this story on any open channel. Don't, hey, don't worry. Segment. The only people who are going to hear it are in the room right now. Yeah, clearly. Uh, so uh, winter through hike. Uh, I'm in the Shenandoah National Park. Uh, it, it just, it was about to snow a bunch. I made it to one of those like, uh, roads that, in the middle of the park that goes up and over the the ridge or the range. Um, so there's like a major like highway like interchange there. So not Skyline Park or whatever that yeah, is. Yeah, yeah. So so like you, yeah. And Skyline and there's like a there's like a um, like a rest stop slash like visitor center area, but it's it's the whole Skyline um, uh, drive is shut down. Like it's it's like a, a winter nightmare. And I had day old sushi coming out of Front Royal, packed it out like an ass clown. And <laughs> it's cold outside, uh, but it was warm the day that I hiked out. Mm. It was warm enough that it wasn't like not like sushi grade fish. It was not sushi grade cold. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I ate it because I don't like to waste, as per the the problem with wasting food that we talked about earlier. Um, and the next day, I had violent diarrhea and I <laughs> shit my pants whilst hiking in the dark and um, had to derobe fully from the waist down and and I knew from having signaled that there was a storm coming and it was going to be dropping like six inches or so and um, I knew that if I night hiked to about midnight or one that I could get to this little like rest stop uh, in the national park um, that was like a actual bathroom, like a real bathroom, like a like there's water running, and I was hopeful that it was at least open and not like locked down, uh, because of that side road that goes up and over the ridge that you know, the cars could be going up and over that that's not on Skyline, and lo and behold, I get there buck buck naked from the waist down, <laughs> and uh, with with shitty shitty pants uh, shitty shorts, uh, in tow. <laughs> And uh, I, you I had guess, a shitty toe too. I wasn't planning on <laughs> I wasn't planning on sleeping there when I got there. I was just planning on cleaning myself, my shorts, and uh, you know maybe charging my phone a little bit in one of the outlets in, in this bathroom. And so I but I got there and I checked the weather report and it was like rolling in and like within an hour. And I was like, fuck it, I'm gonna sleep in this bathroom because there's hot water, there's heat, there's a toilet. Because I'm still shitting. Mm. And um, it's clean as fuck. And I set my alarm so that I could get up at the butt crack of dawn and get out of there before anybody knew I was in there. The problem is that I was right next to like a breaker room in this building. 
And the breaker room had these like beeps and switches going off all night. So I put head, I put earplugs in and I slept right through my alarm by like two hours. <laughs> and I wake up to the knocks of an actual armed national park, like <laughs> law enforcement officer. Yeah. The dude opens the door. I, I, for, I open the door. I'm sorry, because I had a bolt, a dead bolted. Um, I open the door and I'm like, hello, officer. And he's like, what are you doing? He like, he's like, has his hand on his gun. He's like, because he thinks I'm like some sort of vagrant. Because I'm look, look at me. Look at me. <laughs> who, sleep, who sleeps in bathrooms? Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> you know? So he like, he's, has his hand on his gun. He's like, what are you doing? And he's like, immediately assessing all my gear, which I have all my shit out, like strewn <laughs> everywhere. And as hikers do. <laughs> and I'm like, officer, I swear, like, I'm just hiking the Appalachian Trail. And he's like, he's like, do you have any paraphernalia? Do you have any drugs? And I'm like, no. And he, he goes through all my are shit. Are you buying? Uh, yeah. <laughs> what are you looking for? <laughs> no. no, he starts, he like literally starts assessing and looking through all my shit. And I'm like, I don't have anything. I definitely did. No, I'm just kidding. No, <laughs> no I, I, I did not. I, I'm totally kidding. But he, I, I, I don't even plead my case in terms of like that I'm shooting and I just wanted to get something more warm because of the snow and yada, yada. Because I knew what I was doing was wrong. And he writes me a citation for out of bounds camping, you know, like, which was like, a, I think the fine was $75. And to me, it's like a speeding ticket. No, it's like a, a, a shitty motel room. Sure. Yeah. Right. <laughs> and so I was like, I'll happily pay this. I agree with you putting I had it. Everything I needed for the night to like be comfortable. And I would have paid that same price for a shitty motel room. I just didn't have like, I don't know, a TV and a bed. I just had my shit. But, like, that was fair. Like, I didn't... It's actually a great price uh, to get. You know, <laughs> I, I, I just... I didn't... Feel, like, I just felt like I definitely was in the wrong. Did you ask I, him for a continental breakfast on the way no, out? No. <laughs> I did get a reach around, though. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, well, I haven't cleaned it. Just kidding, I have. I, I fold. I fold. I fold. I fold. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that's my that's my story. Cheers, cheers, you know, cheers. cheers All right, yeah. yeah. It's it's hard to f- get that mad at somebody who's sleeping in a bathroom. Like obviously they're in a bad position. I, he eventually realized that I wasn't like a threat, you know, clearly. But like you know, which when reminds me, when you're a law enforcement officer in a national park, right. like it's your job. He's doing his job. It's your job to do that. He's doing and his I, job, and I got it. And I just didn't feel like it was my res- it was it wasn't my place to be giving him shit for me being in the wrong, you know. No. So. <laughs> No. It was what it was. I, I never get mad at enforcement. Like, even if I'm breaking the rules unknowingly, it's just like... Every, I was in the wrong, I, and I know it. I've worked <laughs> in customer service. Like, the people that would get livid at me is like, listen, I'm just the messenger for the thing that you're mad at. Like, you don't get mad at the I person. I complied from the yeah. get-go. Yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah. It's my fault for not getting the hell out of there before. I shouldn't have been there, but, like, it, the circumstances were that I was sick, and here was a place that could help me be sick and not like you sure. know possibly 75 be a, bucks is a fair uh, price yeah, for yeah, that whatever. if you would have if someone would have been like it's 75 dollars to sleep in here you'd be like yes i will pay that okay i'll do it <laughs> do uh, i pay you now <laughs> which Chance, that reminds me didn't you have a segment about crying wasn't there a crying related segment what mm, i like this never ever never if ever, you, ever uh, cried honestly, while on trail jog my memory because i'll go into <laughs> it if we have one uh because you've mentioned something about crying i'm like i actually cried watching an hbo series oh later. yes um this falls into the i got extremely swamped last night and had to drop all the things i was planning to do um it was going to be and we'll have to i wasn't trying to press episode. you for the segment I, the reason i brought it up is because it reminded me of another movie that i had cried to recently uh in the pursuit of happiness uh, with will smith the there's pursuit, a scene the pursuit of, the yeah. pursuit of happiness where like he has to sleep in a in yeah. like the subway yeah, yeah, yeah. bathroom with his yeah, son. Yeah, where he's holding hey, that. Yeah. Literally, I cried during that scene. Yeah. So the segment, yeah, the segment. The segment is: Would you cry in this scenario? And it's a scenario, and it's: Would you cry in this scenario? And we'll do it on a future episode. Okay. But it's gonna be a bunch of scenarios, and then we have to decide if we cry in it. Yeah. If you guys want to cry to a Will Smith? Lee has to go home. Lee didn't sign up for a <laughs> 10:30. <laughs> oh shit! Yeah. If you want to cry to Lea's Will Smith? Like, Lea's 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 guys, we're not watch, even talking about backpacking. Yeah. Seven pounds. Have you guys ever seen Seven Pounds? I I have. It's insane. It's a great movie. I watched it one time. I remember being very sad, and then I decided I wouldn't watch it again. At the same time, I don't remember anything about it. Okay, I'm not going to talk about it. Apart from the, like, apart from the premise, 
That part I remember. No, it's it's intense. The letter. Sure. There's a letter, right? Uh, yes, he's a, there's a letter to like. I yeah, think, yeah, 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 yeah. He he's he. Okay, I don't want to. Yeah, I don't want to ruin it for the listeners. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. very good. Watch Seven Pounds. There's only one listener. It's one of those things you watch. <laughs> it's one of those movies I mean, you watch like, once and you're just it's like. It's more of a film. I'm satisfied it. watching this only once, and then you don't watch it twice. No, I'll watch it again for sure. Okay, we have With a we have a five star review, and then the last entry method. The people I that are still listening for the really old, for the entry I honestly method. think there's plenty of people still listening. Yeah, maybe there's energy here. We'll see. It's mostly just shit and we'll see. Jokes, pe- pe- people tend to like you, which is strange. Price package. We're still friends. <laughs> I guess that's true. That's true. Here's the thing. I, l- I let you shit talk my mom at my wedding, so uh, you didn't let me. I just <laughs> did. <laughs> you had no say. Uh, she was wrong. Um, <laughs> I can't I actually she can't was disagree. Wrong. She she had her back. Maybe the wrong time to bring it. Can up. we bring up this story again? Because although I was not invited, which I'm still salty well, about, I didn't like you. I have one. heard this song about or this story about three times, and it is a great story. Yeah, it is pretty funny. I actually, don't even remember the specific. She said we hiked the, the trail. I mean, she either said we hiked the trail in 90 days or 99 <laughs> days. And I was like, it was 100. <laughs> during her, her oh, during her mom's speech. During her speech. <laughs> and Jeff was just like, it was 100. I think he actually corrected her twice. Twice. Yeah. <laughs> and by the way, first of all, at her son's let me just wedding, clarify that I was shit house drunk, emceeing his wedding after running a thirty-three mile trail race. Earlier the that outfits day. were yeah. absurd. I ran the. I don't know 30. from in person because I wasn't invited, but I saw the photos. I Sean, just... you'll be invited my next wedding. I okay, promise. Cool. Thanks. <laughs> I can't wait. You can emcee his next wedding, bitch. I honestly. Would not do a good job. Um, really That's not true. <laughs> Chance's carnival barking skills at trail That's days. That's different. Also, you did a really good job at uh, the San Diego. Race. Yes, He's carnival barking, He's I can do. Credit. Yeah, I'm a great thank carnival you. barker. Thank you. Say I'm thank a you. thank you. Listen, when you're emceeing, <laughs> when you're emceeing Zach's fourth wedding, that's what you'll do. You don't have to put jokes in carnival barking. I you just got to get the people ready. <laughs> Java will write your jokes and yeah, you can bark them. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Okay, paper and hand it to you. All right, say this. I think this is my favorite five star review. Even though he shit talks us, it's not even. I intentionally didn't read it just because of the timing. Just listen to this. Okay. And you might not know the full context. I definitely won't. Okay. So Uh, this is, you want to read it? Oh, no, you go ahead. Okay. This is from (laughs) Ron Case 99. Uh, The title is Always a Highlight. Thoroughly enjoy your podcast and playful banter between the gingers and the blonde. Uh, I added that part. (laughs) Eric's 70,000 mile three year journey was quite different, but still quite enjoyable. What you two would do with endless millions of dollars, that's not what this segment was, <laughs> left something to be desired, but to each his own. Did we do that in a segment? We did a uh, triple crown. Oh, of what if you I had a million. Yeah, yeah I made that million. one up. If you had a million dollars, I Based made that on, one up. Things are so fleeting. Based on the yeah. Naked Lady song? <laughs> uh, I made that reference. You didn't get it. Different nice. generations. <laughs> yeah. Uh, this, is, this is the part of the review that I like. Revisiting Jennifer Farr Davis again might be interesting, as would checking in on Colin O'Brady, would, uh, who just crossed the Antarctic on foot alone. So this guy is asking for Jennifer Farr Davis as a guest. Bring her back! Lo and behold. You oh, I get it. Episode. Oh, <laughs> I get it. Nice. Well, that's, you know, interestingly enough, this reminds me that when we started this, when you guys started this podcast, you were there. You were I was there. there when we started this podcast. <laughs> you were there, man. Do uh, you, you know what we were doing back then? I think we were in my two basement. Chicks in the same- <laughs> 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 That's funny. <laughs> you know what I do with million dollars, man. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. That's an Office Space reference, and nobody heard it. Just go watch the movie and then re-reference this. But we were we were saying who the guest wanted to hear next. Oh yeah, we yeah, yeah. You're right. That. I think that was your idea too. That's and really I, we, idea. when was the last time you did that? A long time. I don't think we've ever done it. Yeah. <laughs> when uh, did we do this? It is a good. No, it was. It was a, actually this was Jabba's suggestion. It's a really good suggestion. We should ask our guests who they would who, like. To like hear. Who do you want to hear from next? Yeah. Well, who do you want? All right. So who do you want to hear? We've from actually next? never well, asked this on a podcast. We well, ask it in every did. other medium. Yeah. yeah. Well. I don't know. Well, so uh, here, here. <laughs> you don't I'll have an answer to this? I'll tell you, I'll tell you mine now. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Dirty Avocado. Okay. Cool. She's well, just on. starting the um, the Arizona Trail this week. Uh, I don't know if she's coming back to the region yeah. afterwards or not, but you should have you should have her on. 
her and Weezer fan yeah, exactly. favorite were just in Death Valley together prepping for it. Yep, and with Carly. Mm-hmm. Moray? Right? Yeah. Right? Yep. Yeah. Moray? Yeah. They, oh, the shit. three of them were hiking together. All oh, the shit. girls are friends. Because Carly's and, getting like, ready. And I say I, that in the broadest way. Every girl hiking. I mean, all those girls are girl shit. Like, they all, they all find shit. each Stop other. Stop yelling at me. I don't do Instagram Zach. anymore. I don't do Instagram. <laughs> You're I, a child. Yeah. You're dead to the world. That's right. <laughs> That's right. That's right. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm actually, I can feel myself getting older because I spend more time on Facebook than I do Instagram. Oh, you oh, are you're dead so to the world. Old. It's bad. It's so oh, bad. Oh, gross. Although Why? I, let, me, let me say, let me say. How? I, How does that happen? I did. Twitter is still like 90% of my social media. That's fine, but like, why is Facebook more than Insta? Be- because I feel like Instagram is just mindless consumption. Like, not only does it make sure. me feel it's... bad, but I don't get anything out of it. Like, Facebook, I will occasionally learn something. Instagram is just like pure, like FOMO, like mindless, addictive and bullshit. Like, and like, and like the the bodies of people that you wish you could be, but you're not. Like, it's just it just makes you feel bad about yourself. And like, I don't get anything. I get nothing out of it. I'm gonna change your mind about Instagram this year when I go hike the Hey Duke and I start doing no. content again. And you're gonna love it. No, and not have any photos. Because you you get, you text me a play by play, which is amazing. I don't have to go to Instagram ever. Yeah, that's true. So keep doing that. All right, cool. T- text. If you like somebody, text them or call them. Keep in touch with them. Or FaceTime them. Or have or, you guys or, or been shut getting, their mother up and, Okay, here's my question. <laughs> have you guys been getting those, um, the ads on Facebook? Like, not on Facebook, but the ads for Facebook on TV, where it's like an ad on TV for Facebook, and it's like encouraging you to join like houseplant groups where they're singing to the houseplants, or like... No. You've never gotten that commercial where it's like... How do I help my house plant? And then it's like sing have, to it, and then the guy sings to it. Cable? Or are you watching like streaming Netflix? It's HBO cable. Yeah, I don't have cable. It's it's not cable cable. It's like the like the, HBO the, Max. the slightly more expensive HBO that still has ads but lets you watch TV when it comes out. I don't know what that is. Well, they keep sending me these like like when I watch it, they keep putting these Facebook advertisements like it's an advertisement for Facebook on the commercial, and it's like a house plant group, and it's like my house plant is wilting. How do I fix it? And then the Facebook group says sing to it, and then the guy starts singing to his plant, and then the entire commercial turns into them singing. It's just like one is like, okay, this is probably a targeted ad in video form that I wanted to confirm by seeing if either of you guys had seen it. Yeah. Now that you haven't, it makes me think yes. Um, which You're leads part of into some weird like cults. I joined demographic four house plant groups on Facebook this past week because mm. I watched enough of those ads where I thought. So have I do you seen have your a lot house of house. Plant? No, I've never done that, but I do have a lot of house plants, and I have killed. A good majority yeah, of them and replace them. But after that commercial, I was like, "Wow, I should go on Facebook and join a houseplant group." I and I joined Juliet several. I've posted two <laughs> posts asking questions about my houseplants, and <laughs> I just think I—that's the telltale sign of I am aging. <laughs> Wait, how old are you? Are you 20, yet? Twenty-nine as of Shut the snowstorm. The fuck up. As of yeah. the snowstorm, I am no. the right age of twenty-nine. No, no shots. I. You know how old twenty-nine sounds. There's a nine Listen in it. Listen to me. I didn't start my through hiking career until I was yeah, how old are you? over 30. I don't want to answer this. That's, okay. That's fine. Can you say older or younger than Chance? You don't run out younger? of eggs. Okay, okay shit, motherfucker. I'm sorry. <laughs> we, are, we are like- You know, like you can fuck off till you're 60 and still be good. I don't want to. I'm going to sort my shit want, out pretty don't soon, wanna, don't I? I don't want eggs in my life. <laughs> exactly. We're just old. We're I don't old. want them in my life. I don't want them around my I life. I got to figure it out relatively soon, otherwise it's too late. <laughs> I just think that, that, that we have this. I, it sucks. I, you're right. I'm sorry. I apologize. I was ignorant. No, no, no. That's totally but, fine. But I wouldn't true. expect it's, your head it, to go there. It is totally. It's like it, it, at some point, whether you had your mind made up or not, this other wave of like reality hits as a girl. Yeah, dude, I'm so in it. I'm like, oh fuck. <laughs> but that's what adoption's for. That's what's amazing. That's that's where. Yeah, but I want listen, like a listen, little listen, ginger listen. thing that you looks have, like me. You have a lot of. You have a lot of. Oh, you little shit! You look just like me. <laughs> I, look, I get it. I do. I understand. It's... You, Chauncey, you have a lot of time. All right. Don't. I'm not going to give you the pep talk on air. Right now. As two guys with endless sperm. Listen. Awfully hey, optimistic honestly, of you I, to I, say. How do you know my sperm even swims? I don't. I'm, I don't think his, I, his sperm is very. <laughs> maybe, maybe you do I, and might, you don't know. It might not swim. I mean, it might not. Maybe I was never able to. I don't know. I don't have any right now that I know of. But, <laughs> uh, 
Mom, if you're listening, I know you want me to have kids someday, but maybe I never could, you know? Like, maybe I never could. Maybe this is your fault. <laughs> a little engine that couldn't. I feel like that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm an uncle to nine. It's great. Uh, okay. But, you know. Okay. We got to let Leah go home. We got to wrap this up. I can't imagine Elise that. doing the show notes on this and jumping from topic to topic. Yikes. Yikes. Elise. It's really great to be back, you guys. Yeah. Uh. And whoever's like sadly waiting for giveaway number three is probably like, I'm so sad. No, they're hitting the fast oh, four yeah. so, so sad. All right. So I'm going to give that right now. And Oh, wait. Gonna... Before you do, I had a thought. And we're back. Think, <laughs> think out loud. Because, it, because it's taken so long to get here, I think Jabba should sign one of these empty beer cans and we should put it in the package for giveaway number three. That's Easily done. Should With like I a use sharpie. my left or right wiener? <laughs> <laughs> How about both? <laughs> All right. Teamwork. I got a visual and I'm a little excited. Right. Hello. <laughs> How are you today? And on that note, yeah. wild card entry. A wild card entry. Together. Wild card entry. This is number three. And this is going to be really disappointing. You waited to get to this point. And it's basically like, I don't know. <laughs> but let, I'll describe it. I'll describe it. I'll describe it. Which is basically, I don't know. Let you <laughs> For this one, I want your creativity to run wild. This Do you so want to make a video? Video of your favorite horse, or a video of you rapping your favorite horse facts. Do you want to invent an actual drinking game for the podcast? We've talked about this a lot of times. It doesn't True. exist though. Do you want to write write a limerick detailing your favorite guest from the show? What's a limerick? A limerick is a rhyme. It's a poem, basically. It's a rhymed poem. <laughs> <laughs> he's he's right. Send your wildcard entries to podcast at the trek.co if it meets our very subjective criteria for what this should be. And this is going to be measured Bars on low. effort on and creativity. We'll get you added to our entry list. And for the record, like you you do have to you have to put in a little effort. It can't just be like, I want a tent. Guys, I have <laughs> By the way, the- somebody should totally make a song called uh, 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 and make it r- fucking rock. I'll put a little <laughs> I'll put a little note in here in the vaguest way possible. I have to make a video for work right now and I have 48 hours to do it, which is I think not fair. But I was up until 4 a.m. last night, which is why I'm partially in the state I'm in where I'm saying leave my trace. Um, <laughs> Are you going to leave it? <laughs> so I just like, you know, if you, put in the, if you put in the same kind of hours, I'll vote for you. Yeah, that's right. It's got to be at least 48 hours. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you can either screenshot a review that you left or 48 hours of a video effort. You can get a really good look at my trace if you stick your head up there. Honestly, oh. if, someone, if someone submits a leave my trace principles... <laughs> On how to leave your own trace <laughs> in the most ethical way possible. <laughs> that doesn't end up spiraling down a worse path. Yeah. You're playing Auto with win. fire. You're playing Auto with win. Fire. You're playing with but fire. No, 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 no. It has no, to be incredibly no, no, ethical. No, no, no. We're not and actually free. leave no We're trace. Not playing favor. I'm right. Jesus Christ. Right? Oh not. my God. <laughs> We're going to have to get a team Uber. <laughs> <laughs> Jenna Thank you to our Chuck Norris award winners on Patreon Leo. That is Andrew, yes. Austin, McDaniel, Christopher Marshburn, Janelle L, Paul Packman, CLE, S11N, Sawyer Products Bra- Brad and Blair from 13 Adventures, Cameron Brown, and Brent Stenberg Thank you for following us on social Which is at Backpacker Radio on Instagram At Backpacker <laughs> 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 we made it to 100, and so did you. <laughs> 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 Thanks for listening, and happy hiking. Bye. <laughs> Bam.